2023 is coming up May 28th to June 4th in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Uh, if you want to attend the event, there's still some spots open. Uh, registration's open until May 7th. Go to gamesdonequick.com for more info. Uh, and this upcoming weekend, we're having Sonic and the Parallel Worlds on May 6th to the 7th, a uh, weekend-long event with Sonic fan games, mods, and a whole bunch more starting at noon every day. Exclamation point Sonic in Twitch chat to learn more. Okay. So the meme lately for me picking games for my show has been games I never actually played, but I thought were really cool. However, I have actually played both of these games and I played both of them co-op uh, because I was really scared of horror when I was younger and playing it co-op made it less scary because I'm a coward. But here to uh, show you Resident Evil 5 co-op no merchant which i can't believe they can do this no merchant it's kind of wild uh yadogami and smacklosa take it away guys yeah uh i'm smacklosa and i'm playing supporting cast to yadogami on this terrible run uh yato can you explain what's going on here hello uh in case you don't know me i'm yadogami nl and i can explain you how to do this run this run is very simple i'm <laughs> said no one ever before you are not allowed to buy guns or anything you are not allowed to upgrade them you are not out allowed to sell even though selling doesn't even do much except giving you money so you pretty much have to improvise with whatever you got in the game and every weapon will be low stat no upgrades whatsoever you cannot use your money to get uh, ammo like more capacity to get free ammo it's uh it's challenging and yeah we're we're here to showcase how how that works yeah it's tough it's challenging it's weird but there's some fun strats and uh we're gonna do it yato would you mind counting in for the timer because i don't know how the cutscenes roll at the start here i just I mean, skip a million times and you do it that, that is fine by me. Three, <laughs> two, one, go. And uh, this is the beginning. Super, super cool intro. The intro is cool. I haven't watched it in years, but it is cool. <laughs> Movie night. This is Kirk. So the first uh, chapter of this game, thankfully, is kind of... It's not an auto-scroller per se, but it's kind of like... Yes. It is. Um, there's very few encounters until the big crescendo event, but that is an auto scroll. It's on a timer, so we just use the opportunity to get a bunch of am ammo and you know chill out mainly. Wait on our rooftop is pretty nice. Pretty much what he's trying to say is you have to walk for two minutes, and after those two minutes, you actually get to chill because auto scrolling. So here there will be a cutscene. Cutscenes like these will only block one person, so the person that activates it, the other person can just walk around freely. As you can see, he was in the lead. So now I'm running behind him, he's opening the doors. Take screenshots, because that's not going to happen much in this room. <laughs> <laughs> wow, really? <laughs> so there's this first zombie here, we'll go to the left, so we dodge him. You don't have to shoot him, you don't get grabbed. He gets some ammo. I have time to get I'm the ammo because here. one one player triggers that cutscene, so I'm allowed to be slow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm slow in the whole run, but I'm allowed to be slow though. <laughs> yeah, you're fine, you're fine. Yeah, so like, obviously no merchant, you're not allowed to buy anything. How tight is the ammo management through this category? Like, do you have to really count your shots, or can you kind of fudge things here and there? Um, that's actually a very tough question. Um, you can time some, well, you have to time late game. Early game, it doesn't matter, because there are so many zombies. And mostly you get good RNG. If you are very unlucky and they all give you money, then you are in big trouble. But you yeah. don't see that happen often. It's kind of weird. That's described as bad RNG. It's like, ah, oh, man, money. So much money. <laughs> it's kind of weird because it almost feels like a roguelite or something because you get there's like such massive variances in the things you get. You know, if you get five nades here or you get a bunch of am ammo, like it's so. I don't know, it's hard to explain. Like, you can't define what is a good start or a good chapter because there's so many different things that can either help or hinder you, depending on whatever. But I just learned if I follow Yato, it works itself out. 
This so this now is on a timer until the end of the chat chapter. It doesn't really matter what we do if we get hit or if we hit them. We're just chilling out. I think Yato is chilling out. Oh, dear, it, it, it was this meant to call back to like the cabin scene from RE4, I guess? I think yep. so, yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit more uh, bombastic though. This game was just bigger. But it's, uh, it's cool, it's cool. It's, it Ow. felt a lot scarier at the time, considering like it's not scary. But I remember playing this, this was in the demo for our RE5 to the stage. And I remember it was like scary. And I don't know what happened. I mean, I'm not like 10 and anymore <laughs> still. Are there any differences between Chris and Cheva? Uh, in terms of gameplay? Yeah. Or like yes. stats or whatever. Uh, stats, no, but well, Cheva is shorter. There is one difference. Uh, there is a, I don't know if I would call it a skip, but there is a trick that Cheva can do that Chris can't, that I will demonstrate in 3 2. The only other difference is Yato, if you aim in real quick. Sheva's a lefty and Chris is a righty. That's not the only difference, by the way. What is there it? There are a couple oh, differences. Really? First of all, she has a sh uh, she has a smaller uh, hurt box, which means she can go past uh, enemies quite easily. And st just well, yeah, Chris is a big body, so he most likely have to shoot most of the enemies to get through. So for safety purposes, he can just walk past them this is coach uh, so oh that's a great there. executioner that's very good very good um yeah so they have a hurt box difference um Sheva climbs faster is she really and yeah what, what you're talking about uh the one is a lefty the one is a right one right-handed i almost got killed <laughs> Sheva's a lefty, that's all I'm worried about. What a queen. But yeah, she does climb faster. So if we climb at the same time, you are uh, earlier up there. I had no idea. <laughs> Which is for advanced threat uh, a problem if the if uh, the Sheva player plays too fast. Uh, that's why it's not a problem for us. I feel it. <laughs> 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 Did you leave this urban here? No. Uh, which one? The one in our bro, I don't know what to call it. In this room, but you In the house. Way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think so. It's fine. I, yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. So right now, we're just, you know, as I said, it's an auto scroller. We're just whatever. Um, get grabbing all the ammo and things that are around. Um, yeah, as a little bit asked, of inventory management. As Amalyn asked, it's not super tight. You know, if we miss five hanging rounds, it's not the end of the world. Um, but it's nice to get everything you can, just makes things a little bit easier. You can be more trigger happy, get hit less. And eventually, I'm finally making my way up there. So, Bruh. Oh my God. Yeah, so I'm <laughs> noticing your, what looks like quick turning. Um, uh, to, like, yes. Get places There's... like, yeah. You picked oh. up the money. Sorry. Go don't on. worry about it, don't worry about it. I want to be rich. <laughs> it's okay thank you for the ammo um i'm using the re4 controls which has c turning so i can take a, a couple corners much easier and i can do which i will show you later a faster way and a consistent way to get rid of the miss uh, the the lasers there are a couple sections where it's also important, but um, you won't see me do it that much. Uh, can you make since I'm trying space to uh, trying to back up my close as well. What does that mean? <laughs> uh, yeah, the RE4 controls are weird. That's something worth saying. <laughs> I <laughs> like I, I I I can do this, but I can't do that funky quick turn he does. So I kind of take them like a a, a bus super wide can you give me those herbs so i can give you the nades oh yeah you're right there we uh, go <laughs> so if you've never ever run this game or 
15 at random. The fastest uh, way to re reload is you can just move your ammo over your gun, which isn't a huge time save, but if ever you reload like that, you just feel like so lame when you do it. Oh, so it's it's literally just like inventory reloading. That's pretty funny. E yep. Yeah, yeah, it's super weird. Uh, I don't think the RE4 remake lets you do it, which is. You can also do it like this. If you if someone is in stun, you aim, you reload, and you punch afterwards, like as fast as possible. You won't see a reload animation. You just punch I, it at full ammo. I had no oh, idea. That's tight. <laughs> now you know. Now you That's know. <laughs> Bro, I'm learning so much. <laughs> we should have learned this before I started running. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Oh, look at that. Damn. Okay, so. Alright, that's 1 1. Yeah, that means that we got through it. Ooh. 822 is, I would say, pretty like whatever, like it's not normal for 1-1. One, one. Um, you can get it fast, there's all kind of like weird strats to save like a second. Um, a lot of them, as far as I know, are New Game Plus, but Yato is, uh, knows more about that. 822 <laughs> is fine. I'm not crying to reset for an 822. 823 is a different story, though. <laughs> if, if one of us says come on in front of those doors, it's a whiff. Is that? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to uh -oh. hear Sheva say it so much. Yeah, I was going to say, how, uh, how tight are like, the co-op triggers? Um, like, how close do you have to be for that kind of stuff? They're kind of annoying. There's one coming up uh, in this chapter. By the way, this chapter... Uh, you can complete without firing a shot. I fire one there. But you can fire. You can do this chapter without fi firing a shot. The co-op triggers are kind of okay. They're kind of annoying. But there's one in a moment after, uh, not the next one, but the one after, that's really tight. Like it's clearly made for one player, and the second player sometimes kind of has to like Ugh, and squeeze in. It's. Um, but hopefully, I get the first, and Yato is good at making that work. Uh oh. He's hungry. Okay. Hug to the right. Thank you for the safe shot. Oh, that this door. door is so annoying. Yeah, that door is like one and a third people wide. Um, <laughs> and it, it can just get super tricky. You know, if one, of, if one of you gets there first, you can kind of line it up so it's okay. But if you get it at the same time, one of you is saying, come on. Yeah, that, just... door, that door is is uh, as straight as a single french fry. It's actually unfunny. <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, yeah, and the, the come on bind is like the same as the partner door bind, the B. Um, but the problem is it stops yeah, you in your tracks. It's not like you just do it. So it's like a massive, you lose like, I would say probably a second. And it can happen like 10 times a run. Uh, here is here is another like really gross one. <laughs> uh, someone in chat noticed, and is and a question I have. Um, why, uh, Smack? Do you have almost all the handgun ammo? Is it just inventory uh, management? So I'm a better player. No, no. Uh, <coughs> uh, Yatogami has picked up the machine gun in the first chapter. Chapter. So he has all the machine gun rounds. I can show you in a second once we start this bus. Um, so yeah, I'm taking all the handgun rounds and he's getting the machine gun rounds. Uh, machine gun, I would say, is better. And I don't trust myself with it. <laughs> Makes sense. And I, I, I would assume because of that, um, like, ammo and inventory stuff is, like, not shared. Like, when... No, no, exactly, yeah. So, yeah, he has a machine gun, so he has all the machine gun rounds. He's got a bit, but, yeah. And he knows all the cool tricks with, with the nades, too, so he can have them. <laughs> Okay, we're trying to bait him here. It's a 50-50 if he gets aggressive or not. Pull it down. 
Azure Strats. Look at that. Money, 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 money. Get out yep. my face. Yep, RNG. You love to see it. <laughs> there you go. Uh, do you want to use that single herb? Ugh. There we go. He's doing the Harlem Shake. Oh! <laughs> oh! I had a spot in my life. So what we were doing there, we led it, <coughs> we led him into a furnace, shut the doors, and we cooked him. We didn't even look at him <laughs> while, while he went. Kind of un unpleasant, but whatever. Um, when we first we started to run those this, spaghettis. when we first ran the category, it was so hard to run past that handgun ammo because I knew how much the rest of the run sucked for our ammo. But it's fine. Come on! You have to learn the hard way, man. <coughs> One, two. Oh, yeah. That was one, two. Now, this is the chapter where hell goes loose because they will introduce the dogs. They will introduce the big guys. Um, they will introduce a couple of BOWs. So it's, it's a mess. Always fun, though. He will so grab the machine gun. Just I have another gun. <coughs> yeah, so because we can't, as I said, use the mer merchant... We can only get guns where we get them, and when you pick up a gun, there's only one. So when yep. Yeto picked it up earlier, he got that one. I take this one here just for a chainsaw mini boss. We're about to fight in a second. Uh, I just, bro, that was nowhere near me. Uh, I fire it all into there, and then I just discard it. Nice shot. Yeah, he's always aggressive. Uh, bow and arrow guy here. Oh, oh he shoots me in the bow. back. Oh, nice. I'm gonna do a low percent strat. It works. Easy. And another thing, on some of the doorways, Yato might correct me here, on some of the interactions, uh -huh. uh, uh, the players will have a set side, and it's usually Sheva on the right and Chris on the left. So if you, like, approach them at the wrong side, you can still do it, but it will teleport you. And sometimes you can knock the other player, like, out of range. It's super frustrating. That gate is one one of them, um, where Sheva always is interacting with it from one side and Chris from the other. But we, we managed it kind of all right. These dogs suck. These dogs are all called Tony. All of them. <laughs> um, and... Uh -oh. That one actually went relatively okay. We're not done yet, no, though. No, no, no. Wait, oh, hold up, hold up. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Go on the right side, right side. Thank you. <laughs> That's one of those doors. <laughs> those dogs can get you stuck. Those dogs can actually kill, kill you off, but it's rare. But yeah, they, they can, can get kill you, your run. Like, getting stuck there for like 10 seconds is like normal. Watch out. Is it just because wide hitboxes, or are they like. Yeah. Can they like jump on you? <laughs> They can jump on you, but it's the hitboxes. Yeah, they just stand like horizontally in the doorway, and you're like, "Gee, thanks." It's pretty much everything. The hitboxes, the hurt boxes, um, pretty much how um, less hit stun they have when they attack you, so they can pretty much combo into each other. It's so, it's, it's so hard. <laughs> it's so difficult. It's. It <laughs> I don't even want to think about it. <laughs> One handgun bullet and a dream for Chris. Go on, boy. Yep. That's how it works in the cutscenes, right? That is true. And so these boys, you gotta always try to avoid using like SMG ammo, saving it for later. Yep. Usually, I would shoot these guys, but they just battered me, so forget that. I actually care. Oof, that was my bad. I shouldn't have approached the door where I was. That it's was fine. We made it. I mean, I could use uh, machine gun ammo early. However, it's my gun. It's gonna be my main gun. So yeah. the pistol probably yet is gonna discard at some point. Like it's no biggie. I should. Yeah, pis pistol ammo has more chance than machine gun ammo. Machine gun ammo is very rare. 
especially late game since there will be a ton of rifle ammo. Oh my god, my bad. Okay, protect yeah, him. Yeah, is about to do a fun skip while I don't protect him. This guy's going very nicely, just letting you run by. <laughs> They're very kind like that. First try. Nice. Aye, man. There's guys on the floor. I can't get the door open. We got it. We got it. Wait, so what did that do? Uh, there's uh, a lock. It opened Sorry. the door. Go on, yeah, yeah. Oh. There's a lock on the other side of that door. If you remember from like casual strats, you go up to the roof of that building and then you got to boost across and then Sheva has to like fight her way down. Um, it's like a cool event where like you get sp sp split up, but if you correctly throw a nade over that bow balcony, you can break the lock from the other side and just skip out the entire thing. This is what the nades are for. Poor guy getting uh, annihilated. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so doors, uh, keys have gross cut scenes like that. So one of us runs ahead while the other one pick picks it up. And then we meet up here. Yeah. That's a very easy door to whiff because it's misleadingly huge. Yep. Uh, to the left. <laughs> Yato. Yo. Wait, don't run in there. Don't run in there. Okay, okay, okay. Hold up. Hold up. Mm -hmm. You know what it, you know what it is, don't mm -hmm. you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. The run's valid. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is a QTE cutscene. Um, as you see, Yato just had one he saved my life because I'm his favorite. Um, and for some reason, after like 14 years after this game came out uh, in February, they released a patch. No one knows why they patched the game this year in 2023. Um, and one of the things they added was they did some changes to bring it in line with the Switch version, uh, including eliminating quick time events by default. I don't know why, um, but because the category we run means not having a save file, Whenever we start the run, it by default has the QT set to off, which is not valid um, for leaderboard purposes. Hang on, let me get rid of all this. Um, and so I panicked and realized that I uh, killed the run again. But it's all right. We saved it. <laughs> Can't believe that. Pure panic. Every time I see that gate, pure panic. But it's all right. We did it. We did it. You don't shoot until you see the dogs. Now, there you go. If you shoot too early, um, they will stay alive and they will bite you. Rude. You're very rude. <coughs> uh, do I have my spray? No, I don't. Okay. I do if you want to. I don't have to just. Oh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Is it the first one? You're gonna do it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did... Just, just, just press come on. All right. There you go. Hell yeah. <laughs> so that is Please. slightly faster than riding it all the way down and so on and so on. You have to ride it all the way down, then jump out. Um, I don't know how much time it saves, but I see Yato do it, so... You push this me forward, that's cool. This is the scariest part of the whole game, because I have never taken time to learn you get this. It? Yeah, yeah, I'll get it, I'll get it. This game has a mechanic where if you hold the right trigger, you, like, walk on you walk towards your partner so i usually just do that and then sometimes if he gets grabbed i kind of just run in the dark by myself not ideal but it is uh ah like that but it's fine um casual strats there's like a lantern that one of the players has to hold and the other player shoots but that's pretty slow every time every time thanks yeah, that one is rough, especially with no. Oh my god, especially with no flash. Uh, heal yourself when you're there. Oh wait, I am in. It's you, awesome. bro. It's you. Oops, oops, oops. Ow. Are you good? Are, are you good? I don't know. <laughs> oh, there I am. Huh? He does. Tense. I don't have Holy anything. God. Oh, I do have anything on me. Okay. Cool. That was actually scary. You'll no it's notice okay. Okay. we're that close that I did not even turn around. I just uh, ran away and said, well, I'm alive. I've been grabbed. <laughs> Hold up. 
Oh, okay, I'm sorry, cheers. That was scuffed. Be like, that that's scuffed. a you problem. <laughs> exactly, yep. exactly. I was like, look, I'm in the light. I ain't going I'm back in, in there. I'll, I'll never come out. Oh you won't, God. man. You won't. Okay, uh, this... I'm taking this help. Okay, okay, okay. This uh, part of this chapter is so troll. Um, the enemies can have dynamite, um, which is on like a... I don't know how exactly it works, but it's... We'll always just explode at the worst time. So they'll throw it at their own feet, like now. No. And then as I get there, as he's just done, okay, it's fine. Usually I'm slower than that. But usually as I get there, it wipes me out. Um, the same for the next chit chat chapter, full of these dynamite fellas. <coughs> That's a deal. This is another trigger that can just be triggered by one of us. Um, saves like seconds, but you know what? Second saved is a second earned. I thought you were getting the herb, but it's fine. <laughs> we have too much, it's fine. We're not get, gonna get hit again this one. I see that crossbow guy, I see that crossbow guy. That's fine. Ain't no way, ain't no way! Easy. Um, it's just easier for one player to trigger the checkpoint here and then for Yato to reload the game. So he's going to do that now. Uh, there's a few times when we use that, usually to reset en enemies. You know, there's a uh, much less sticky now, which kind of can chill for a bit. Um, I'm not sure what Yato actually gets up to while I'm running, though. But I'm sure it's very important. <laughs> These dynamite guys suck. Uh, pretty much how the dynamites work, uh, they will only explode if you, one, shoot at it, or two, um, the timer starts when they uh, light it up. I'm getting these, because that's important. Do I get good RNG? Absolutely not. Okay, I agree. Ha, 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 ha. Yato, what difficulty are we on? I tried to flex, got denied. <laughs> Pardon? Yato, what difficulty is this? I don't want to kill it before you get the things. This is uh, amateur. Okay, okay, okay. Which is insane, by the way. <laughs> Uh, I'm getting these uh, proximity mines, which is very, 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 very important for late game. Uh, excuse me, miss. Can you can you please move? Can I give proximity mines if I pick this one up? Yes, you can. Okay. Never mind. I'm a uh, duck. Heal yourself. Yeah. Do you want to just kill it? It'll it'll die like very quick. Uh. So this thing can only be hit in the back, and uh, I'm stuck in front of it. So. I'm gonna reload, but you can't see it. Oh, never mind. I missed. I messed up the menuing. Because why not? I'm actually stuck in front of this thing. <laughs> so this isn't like a bug. Like this. Ooh, thank you. Cool. That that thing can destroy the hut I'm in. That's like uh, you know the same as the RE4 El, El Gigante fight. It just wouldn't do it, because obviously it wouldn't. Yeah, I, I distinctly remember that fight when I was playing co-op. Uh, we ran out of ammo, so I did. <coughs> Blink away that out. fight sucks. That fight sucks. Yato, do you want to explain the uh, disgusting thing we're about to do to ourselves right now? We're uh, gonna play... Uh, Cinematic. A, a very, a very fun, very fun uh, chapter where you only shoot with a sentry gun. Or a turret, actually. Oh, yeah, that. But also, uh, for some reason, the way that the, ga the game renders damage is linked to the frame rate. I guess that's maybe not uncommon. Um, we have these, like, mi mi mini guns. And the boss fight at the end of this chapter is so awful to play on 60 or 120 hertz. Uh, so at some point during this fight, 
we have to change our frame rate, I'll do mine now. Yeah. We change our frame rate down to 30. Uh, which looks disgusting and feels disgusting. <laughs> but it makes the bus... Oh god, it's so bad. But it makes the bus much, much easier. It's so beautiful. Tech Richard absolutely screaming at us right now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Remember when we used to play like this every day? And we thought gaming couldn't look better than this. It's so cinematic. It's Meanwhile, the GameCube FPS. era was already beginning with 60 FPS games. Like how? I, but I, I think like the SNES was 60 hertz, right? Was it? Uh, I, for some games, I think, yeah. Yeah, because I don't think it was as big a deal then. <coughs> like the way that CRTs ha handled, I have no idea. I'm not that smart. Uh, that's why I'm playing Shiva. Uh, but, oh goodness. Yeah, this chapter just... This is also also an auto-scroller. It's just uh, pretty boring. Uh, this isn't really a massive strat or anything, but me and Yatagami both play this chapter on controller. Uh, sorry, on mouse and keyboard. Because it's just much easier to aim with the mouse than it is uh, the controller on this. You have more free control and higher sensitivity compared to the controller. Com controller, you have a set... Uh, sensitivity which means it takes a whole minute or so to look from left to right yeah which means uh, if a weak spot is showing for example with the boss uh, you will miss damage yeah this is how it reached in there uh, in time this is how it is on the uh, controller and the mouse is that like it's so it's such a huge difference it's just coupled with the 30 FPS it's just gross to play with the controller The boss we're about to fight, um, he only takes... I, Yato is going to correct me here. I, he only takes meaningful damage when he's got his big um, plaga thing coming out of his back. Uh, and you can kill him in one cycle, but it's so hard. Me and Yato have both only ever seen it done once on this patch. And it was Yato doing it. Notably without me. With an actual competent <laughs> second player. <laughs> So, you know, this could be the god run, but it's unlikely. We'll probably have to go through the second cycle, and then he'll have one HP. Nice. Okay, hold to right, and then shoot. This will destroy the truck as fast as possible. There you go, and. Capcom didn't give you a hurt box here, so you can't get hit by anything they do. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, look. Oh no, no damage. Oh, I, re oh, no. I really, oh, I really no. thought we were gonna take damage to that axe. Absolutely huh. do nothing. This boss sucks. This is the worst boss in the game. Yep. This this is this is the boss where people were like, "Yo, I'm not gonna speedrun this game." <laughs> Imagine coming home from work and then decide to practice, and you see this. Like you paid money to experience this. It's not good. That's so meh RNG. So damaging Ooh, his no body. Earthquake, let's go. Wait, so I'm damaging done, his done. body spawns these. Destroying these spawns the the damage taker. However you'd call it, it looks a bit I don't know. Um, and again, it's possible to one cycle this, but it's uh, very rare. I've never done it with my own hands. I've still never done it with my own hands. It will be fun to showcase. Oh my god, we did a bunch of damage. It would have been fun if it worked. That would have been crazy. Again, it would have probably been a RRTA record. In fact, it would have definitely been a RRTA record. Um, so now we have to go through this again with spawning these things and destroying them. Probably to yeah, get the fight like, will already shots. be over. Yeah. But it it's fine. It overheated. 
Okay. Okay. And I think he had one HP. Oh, this dude. So unfortunate, but yeah, it's, it's fine. It's a teeny bit tilting when you have that, but it's not the end of the world. 69 eliminations, 66.9 accuracy. Let's go. It is a new record on the on the IL though. 520? Really? Yeah, I believe so. Hold up, let me give you this uh, thing. Oh, much appreciated. This thing, okay, he right. says, world record holder. I forgot what it's called. Proximity mine. Right. So, uh, have you ever played Mario Kart before in a Resident Evil game? <laughs> this chapter uh, sucks too. No. I, I'm trying to minute. remember these chapters as we go. So, picking up this thing causes Grab something it. on the screen. And okay. that would close the pause menu. So, I have to wait for Yata to change his frame rate before I do it. Um, and as Sheva, I get to AFK now, so I can change mine over. I'm so sorry, Richard. You're back on 60? Yeah. Alright, good. Should I drive? Who should I drive? You want to drive for the crowd? No! I've never <laughs> driven. I've never <laughs> driven. I wouldn't even know where to go. I'm a lady. So it looks, when you're, when you're watching this, it looks easy to drive, right? Um, I wish I could say yes. However, um, there are so many uh, invisible walls. Sounds that, like um, it sounds like coke. You pretty much no. have to learn how to, or where to drive, actually. Because if you take tight corners that will be, quote unquote, faster, you get bonked. Nobody wants to get bonked. If you go too fast and break too late, you bonk. I have to wait for Yato to um, get in the, to press ready on the boat first. Otherwise, it puts it puts the player that readies up first driving. You don't want to see me driving that boat. Um, right. While driving, you can pretty much um, or use uh, the brake very early or just stop using um, your turbo to prevent the bunk from happening or you know you, that that happens that's that's fine by me uh, i'm gonna go here take this corner here and now we're at my uh, favorite place yato is uh, has a deathly fear of um I hate alligators. I s uh, aren't these crocodiles? Oh, no. No, that's an alligator. Okay, I'm sorry. I take it back. Yeah, I don't mind running all up against them. Yato takes it wide and actually plays safe safety straps. You wanted me to get chomped so badly. I felt it. Yep. I felt yep. it. Yep. <laughs> it's got to be one of us, and it's not me. <laughs> Bro, I got stuck. Okay, you grab it. Low. Fine. Oh, haha, ha, he got an egg. We're back at it again. You checked. Oh, oh where bro. Is he, where is he? Bro, he's. Oh. Wait, I know how we're gonna get the next one. I know how we're gonna get the next one. I've got an idea. Just go straight forward, straight forward. You will spawn on the right. Or not. It's fine. We made it. Should, we have, made it. should have gone straight forward, man. I got pranked by my own teammate. Can you believe it? Take it back. No. Take it back. No. <laughs> I guess. <sighs> this is, I would say, the first of the real like tilters. Like this bit sucks. Um, it's not super high skill. It's just like. Well, if you had good RNG uh, early in game, you could have uh, a bunch of grenades, which I do not have. Nope. We just have to run back to, to the boat. There's no objective. But there's our new friends here. 
I'm sick. I, my mouth is open to form the words that that was the cleanest that's ever been. <laughs> <laughs> next time, next time's the run. You just gotta, I'll let you dream. Just gotta not yeah. jinx it. Exactly. Yep. So, Smack, what are we gonna do now? So, I didn't want to say it in front of everybody in the big lights. Um, there was a rocket launcher in this stage on this boat. I didn't know that I, either. Um, we go over here. We grab the rocket launcher because in this heinous category, it's the only way to defeat Wesker, the fi final boss. Um, the second time we did this run, we got all the way to the end. So, you know, in about an hour and a half from now, just outside the final boss. And I said, Yato, did you grab the rocket launcher? And he said, no. <laughs> and the run died. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you really can't kill him without the rocket launcher? That's wild. You can, however, listen. I, if you are at Wesker with no ammo, and like, he has the insta-kill move, close range, you can't do anything. <laughs> yeah, so <You're> he's... <laughs> That's fair. So, with, with, up, with upgraded guns and stuff, yeah, yeah, like, he, he, you know, you can kill him with the Magnum or the shotgun and stuff, but obviously with this... You know, with a starting handgun and like 25 rounds, you can't do anything. Uh, and he doesn't, he has insta kill within like 15 feet, like you can't knife him. Uh, so that's, uh, it, it, maybe it's possible, you know, that would be something for Ashma and uh, Yato to, to, to test. That's above my pay, pay grade for sure. I'm just here so I don't uh, get fined, that kind of thing. Right. Should we so I don't know if you if you guys notice, but there's supposed to be a trap here with four security guards, kind of enemies. But he was um, aggro on me, and you punched him in the face. What? I skipped them. I skipped all of them actually. Come on. By um, just climbing up and then jumping down, and that will confuse the game by taking. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh my god oh they are both here what okay. no no there's, there's, there's one here uh, but i think he's aggro on you no now. the the big boy is this a reset shall we yeah why not yeah go on. so these guys suck plan b I. we I can know. do it again no 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 it's fine it's fine we'll just do it the same way um what do you mean probably mad you punch him in the face i'm not gonna lie i would be wait i don't have my mag <laughs> gonna do this again so you climb here if you, you walk, walk forward there's a trap yeah yeah if you walk forward cut to your stars there's a trap there will be four bow guys up there but since there is no uh trigger the trigger is here and there's no trigger outside and the trigger only activates if you walk in not if you walk outside so you just climb up you jump down and uh bada bam bada boom you gotta you got a weapon oh free oh no 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 ow trying to get past but without wasting ammo it's uh very hard as you can see oh there we go you got him nice one safety uh, safe i can only see one They're both on me, they're both on me. Yato's hilarious. On the way to get his ward's funniest man award. By spamming go. Uh, that thing that just happened, I've never seen before in my life, actually. Did you see that, Yato? See what? Sorry, sorry. I was about the, uh, to get smack, loser. The, uh... There were enemies in that building at the other side of the bridge, and they opened the door. Yep. I've never seen that. Where do the enemies go? If I've never uh, seen that. That can happen. They spawn up there, as you can see at the end of the end, uh, of the of the chapter. They spawn somewhere around there, and they can decide if they will um, jump down or make a detour. If they make the detour, they are actually at the same place where you are supposed to be. I just saw Trasher and Amelin spamming go in chat. <laughs> These people. Wait, I'll give you the map. 
<laughs> oh, thank you. So here we are at the, the rap section where I can play Mario Party, which is great. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna. We better get some hand cam co content in a second. <laughs> hand cam content. I need it. I need it. You wish. The, the people <laughs> need it. So there's a there's a heinous. Uh, I don't even know what you call it. A slow time event, I guess. Slow time. Yeah, actually. Uh, but this is another one of those examples, especially on No Merchant, where it's probably easier Ow. to just restart the checkpoint once I get onto this raft. We get one. Uh, just yeah, we're abusing checkpoints. Yeah, because otherwise we've got to use our precious ammo on all those dudes. So we do that. That was just a safety. Oh, okay. Sorry, I was going to say that was a safety yeah. reset, but. No, no, yeah, it just no, despawns despawn enemies. enemies. In fact, we're about um, to use it. Yeah, go on. I forgot. Oh my god, I forgot. Please. So, uh, tactical resets are used for despawning enemies. Um, teleporting and switching weapons, like changing your inventory, cleaning it, and then grabbing other stuff. Yeah, stuff so like that, that is like the intended use. Uh, the despawning enemies one we just saw, and the teleportation one we're about to see once I hit this button. Because uh, it's easier than Yato having to teach me the way back. I was trying to see the visual trigger for the crocodiles, alligators, whatever. Are they just like that fast? That was wild. Uh, I was spamming the triggers, I think, but they're kind of de devious. I um, I think I was shooting in one of our runs the other day, which is the input for that is left trigger and right trigger, which is the QT, and it still got me. And I was like, whatever. Um, <coughs> but yeah, that's a QT, the same as the West one at the end, where it's always the triggers. Uh, so if you just like sp spam them, it's just fine. So let me explain how he died uh, when we played. He actually had a magnum in his hands. And oh! Oh yeah, this is the game plus. So, the rule in this game is if you're in another animation, you cannot do a QT that has like a lot of recovery frames. If you shoot, you're just gonna get punished for it. What you're it's saying is it's miss. minus some block. It's minus some block. I get you. It's my Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you got whiff punish, bro. <laughs> by a crocodile, by a alligator. By a crocodile. Oh my god, he always miss. And then he just uh -oh. stands there and watches you? Yep. <laughs> he thinks okay. of his, uh, his new Netflix series. <laughs> he's Myron. <laughs> he, he's Myron. Have you seen Chris's abs? Ooh, clean Chris's movement. Biceps. I mean, he's oh, not yeah. wrong. No, not abs, not abs. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, almost got hit. Do you have like nice iframes wait for in it. those kind of cutscenes? No. Absolutely. Uh, wait, in the zipline, yes. In the rotation of the thing, no. Gross. <laughs> yeah, it's really gross because they have bows and arrows. Um, now we're being chased by chainsaw uh -oh. guys, but uh -oh. I'm running. And Yato's right. Uh, 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 uh. Are you good? Okay, wait, no. hold up. What have you. Hold up. Yeah, I'm gonna die if I do it now. He's uh, made quite a few do, friends. Do, 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 do. Yeah, he made a few friends. Is, it, uh, is this a reset? Ow. Do you want to just reset? It's all good. Yeah, no worries. Uh, that's rough. I'm worried. When's it going to reset? Is it the start? Okay, it's fine. So that was just uh, like it happens, right? You know, it, it spirals. The dom domino effect of like one guy hit hitting you, especially when you're doing. Shoot the guy things. that's on the stairs there. Oh my god, that was slow. You tell me to shoot someone then. Never mind. I think you are already on it. Oh, okay, for me, I think it meant for you, yeah. Don't yes. open the door, by the way. It, it messed up my timing. Uh -huh. Heal yourself? Yeah, there's no iframes during that.
Nice. So there I you just go. wait. All right, now I open the door. Yeah, yeah. There is iframes for like doors like that. Though. You get iframes for doors, for grabbing items, for uh, uh, melee animations, stuff like that. Man, just the, the tight coordination that has to go on there is so cool. <laughs> so rough. When it works, it feels so clean. <laughs> when uh, it works. <laughs> hey, let's get. <laughs> this is an auto scroller. This is an auto scroller mixed with massive RNG. It's it's terrible. It is actually terrible. However, I can't area. come up with anything. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just terrible. <laughs> it's fine. It's in, you got the interview. So all we're doing now is protecting Josh, but I mean, from what? Uh, there are a few guys that spawn here, but we're basically done. There's just one big guy that spawns through here. Uh, in a moment, moment, we have to take down, but he's the only real threat in this part. How's it going, Yato? Kneecapping dudes on the other side of the wall. <laughs> They're just waiting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so no. when Josh says that, wait, are you good? When Josh says that, this absolutely huge fellow spawns. That's horrible. Oh, nice. Usually he jumps in a bit faster and he smacks Josh. But we're okay. This is kind of the same thing, but this is a bit weirder. Yeto can explain what's going on because it's just odd. Uh, luckily, only one person needs to be at the end of the hallway. So at the end of the section where the door is, uh, yep. Josh will follow the person that is in the lead. However, when he's typing, we have to go to the same uh, the sure. same process we had uh, just a couple minutes ago, which was there. And he decides when the door opens. You know what, Yato? Just in, in front of our uh, 1,700 viewers and our lovely hosts, I'm curious what you mean by luckily. Only one person has to be there. Are you yeah. saying I'm slow? Is that the implication I'm hearing? <laughs> <laughs> this dude this dude I mean it would be bad if one of us get grabbed consistently and then get saved by Josh which is cringe by the way where are you <laughs> nice I don't think I've ever been saved by Josh I healed Josh I accidentally on one of our runs the other day. I don't think I had the heart to tell, tell you though. Nice. Thank you. That's a unique door, I think, in the whole game. Yato can confirm that it's a cutscene door that only one player needs to tr trigger. Yep, it's... Why can't every door be like that? It will be and, so much better. And it's followed up by a cutscene door that both of us have to trigger with nothing in between them. Yo, we're boosting? Yo, actually gamers? Yeah, wow. so I can explain boosting. I can't. I, I'm not doing that at this time. <laughs> not at this time. Well, what boosting is, is you can play the game as, uh, twice as fast as possible when you're playing online co-op. Uh, if you manage to walk as close as possible that you push both hitboxes, um, into each other and push each other forward. Can you not do that, Chris? Please. We have a job to do, which is saving the world. Yeah, I was, was going to ask: there. Is there any instance in which, like, you can push your hitboxes into each other, and it gets just like difficult to do, like really finicky? 
Because it seems like sometimes I, the two of you like clip through each other. Yeah, it requires a uh, synergy, but even that is not enough because this game is like, oops, um, you're doing it too well. Let me push you out. That's also a possibility. Yeah, there are a few places where you can set it up. Um, you can like plan. I think uh, the start of chapter one, two, for example. You have to show me the setup. It's like Sheva like steps for two steps and then hold sprint, and usually you get stuck. But I mean, that's that's pro strats, but that's pro strats. This uh, when you ask the start of, of the game, if there's anything you know, any major di differences, and I said one other than being a lefty. My favorite thing in the whole run is about to come up. <laughs> uh, it's a super amazing trick. You skip a QTE. You don't gain time. You don't gain anything. You just look stupid, but you can skip a QTE. It's very exciting. This is. A, do you want some hang arounds? Oh no, you're chilling. Ch ch this actually, is also rude. I don't really have any actually. <laughs> Shut Minor up. role in my uh, in, in in the bin. Uh, so this is kind of an auto scroller until to this point, and then it's like a manual scroller, if you will. Um, nope. Did you? Turn around. Okay, let's see. Do you have this guy? No, you don't. Now you do. Uh -huh. That's not so nice dynamite. I was going to grab the, the ammo, but it's whatever, right? Come on. Oh, all right. All right, let's go. I was about to say he's going to take a ride with us. <laughs> Fun. We have space. Okay, this is it. This is it. This is what Sheva can do that Chris can. Look at him. Yes. <laughs> and if that wasn't enough, if that wasn't enough. That's <laughs> <laughs> so goofy. Highlight. Highlight. Yep. Highlight. <laughs> There's uh, more often than not, because the aiming is so slow, as you saw, I usually get myself hurt doing that. There's no advantage over just pressing X or square. There's literally no advantage. I just enjoy it and usually costs health and time. Oh, and this a, is a funky stage. Shot. You gotta go for it. Exactly, exactly. Yep. yep. This is <laughs> kind of a peculiar uh, art here, because you kind of run, but you can grab stuff too, but you don't have to. And you feel like you're wasting time if ever you grab stuff, but you kind of need to. And then there's these guys with Gatling guns, and it's, the whole thing's a bit gross. Nice. Ah! That was horrendous, but do you know what? We're alive. No. I'm going to be put into dying. Oh, to the left, to the left. Open the door, open the door. Here what did go. you think I was right. going to do? Ah! Oh. Get hit. <laughs> this is it, this is it. Oh, goodness. Oh, okay. That sucks. Those minigun oh. guys suck. The perfect synchronization for the two of you as soon as Smack got hit. <laughs> <laughs> so this is another boss fight that's like, thankfully they give you weapons. Because if they didn't, like, the, the, the no merchant would die here. Thank you. Okay. It's doing the shiggy wiggy, man. No. I can't hit it. Not the shiggy wiggy. <laughs> there we go. It seems like you have to lead so hard. Okay, phase two. Oops. 
Uh, if you get hit and you get unlucky, you can get stuck in front of the gun. Like, I can't explain it. I got hit. Like, there. You just end up there and you can't grab the gun. You just gotta wait for Chris to finish. One more time. I was about to say, where are you? There nice. we go. There's a goofy, like, House of the Dead style boss. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, the over the top death sequence. <laughs> Yeah, the voice boats. too. Like, this can't be. Come on. I mean, I like Irving. You just Until he him became, uh. Eyes. Whatever that was. 3 3. Is this the halfway point, Yato? In terms of chapters? Yep. Oh, God. <laughs> Alright, wait for me. That name Irving said. Excellent. Before. That's the Tricell's African division. Do you think she could be connected to Irving? It's possible, but I don't have any proof. Tricell. There is Where did all your ammo go? I was thinking the same thing. I think I have some in my uh in my box. Um but like not much, like dirty. That's fine. Pacifist run. Pacifist run, okay, bro. Oh, so this is the second worst category you, you can run for this game there's also low percent uh where all you can use is the 10 am i right the 10 bullets you start with in the handgun like you can't pick anything up Ooh. Uh, and your yep. knife obviously i don't see how that's possible but there's times for it so uh Good up I, those I know most of the threats and tr I trust me when i say it's not fun i think what he just said it got lost in translation i think he said He's going to learn the rest of the strats in time for next no, hotfix, I no, think. No, 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 <laughs> no. I couldn't put myself through that. Like, this sucks enough. After playing New Game Plus and just, like, RPGing and magnuming everything away, this feels so bad. I mean, I would run... I would run... Um, low percent if the Reapers didn't exist. Oh, yeah. We'll get to show you guys the Reapers soon. They're, uh... Mini bosses doesn't sound like I guess it's an elite enemy at the end of the game and they suck. They are horrendous. They are whatever. Exactly. We're about to come up to the chapter that I don't know how to play. Is that so? You got a lens, bro. Next to land, I feel like is almost as heinous as press F to pay respects. If if you it's beautiful. Hit X. Do they not? land <laughs> no they, they just land. you know that uh bag rage is mean like du, 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 you just stay there forever <laughs> no you you land but you take damage and apparently it's really slow which it must yep. be slow because hitting it, it is really slow whole seconds fun because chris and Sheffa do not know how to stand up quickly how on earth do we like both this. get out of that like... so wait quick. wait no oh that's beautiful Never ever has that been that clean. What was that? I was judging a book by its cover, but uh <laughs> Guess I'm wrong. I was wrong all along. Uh we guess. cancel uh, RE5 for Indiana Jones. This is a... I feel like it's worth saying this is real and actually in the game on purpose. <laughs> Someone will pay money Chuck to Norris, code this. What do you want in this game? Who's gonna fall, Yato? Not ah. me, come on. Skill issue. Is it random who falls there? I think it is. Yep. It's usually me yep. though. Which makes it's me think it's not random. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Uh, but it's the exact same, you know, the QT is either like grab or like help up, it's still the same thing. However, Chris is slower. 
if Sheva <laughs> falls down, Chris takes all his time to uh, pull her back up. Oh, rude. So, Yatagami also runs, like, IL. Um, so he knows, actually, like, the insides about things like that that save, like, frames. That don't bother me. If I get to the end of the game, I'm happy. <laughs> True. That's all it counts sometimes. True. This room sucks. This room, I, I just don't have it in my brain to learn. Walk forward, this room. walk forward, walk forward. I'm gonna guide him because he was. Look at this. Don't, <laughs> don't, don't, please. This way, okay. First time Once playing. we pull the lever, turn around, walk straight forward, and then follow me. Multiple world record holder, by the way. <laughs> so, if anyone has any questions, feel free to ask them. And, uh, because this is just walking simulator 2003. And like the rest of the game. I have to turn. Uh, here to the right. Don't shoot. Don't. No, 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 no baby park things. Just walk to the right left. Baby park? Yeah, baby park. I've, uh, I got a question. Um, so what made, and it's, it's for both of you, I guess, what made you pick this game to run as opposed to, like, any of the other Resident Evils or, or something else? I oh. misclicked. <laughs> pick the we wrong have, game. Go to the right, go to the right. We, ha we have different answers for this, actually. Um, so I... Hold up. There's a spider. I... Met Yato at ESA, and I mean Yato's incredible. He's hilarious, and he's a god gamer. Um, and we, oh goodness, I, we were just speaking, and I went on his speedrun.com page, and I was like, "Hang on, you have like four world records in RE5. I love that game. Let's let's do it. I haven't played it in years. How hard can it be? I'm not going to end up on a games done quick channel in like a month. It'll be fine." And Yato basically, for some reason, just agreed to carry me in RE5. Um, and we looked at one of the like really niche ca categories that had no uh, that had no uh, time set, and we said, "Well, that's a free world record." And then we did it, but the world record was kind of bad. I'm sorry. You never press. You just walk. <laughs> I know. Um, and the world record was kind of bad. Them. So then we got into oh, well, maybe I guess we'll just improve our one jokey world record and now we're here so that it was it, yeah it wasn't like ironic i guess this is the, the only game that i've ever ran um but me and yato just hang, hanging out we ended up here but yato's actually good at a lot of games so he probably has actually a, a cooler answer for that i hope yeah so i, I guess yato same question like why re5 as opposed I miss to Clay. Anything else? <laughs> I miss. I literally misclick. I can't. I can't lie to you, and I won't lie to you. I misclick. <laughs> what were you try? I, trying to run four or six? No, no. I wasn't trying to speed run this game at all, or any. Or I wasn't even thinking about it. But um, I was listening to the RE5 soundtrack. Uh, Jill's theme, to be specific, because I love that one. And. Um, the autoplay was on. I was like, no, I want to cancel. But I misclicked on one one tutorial speed run guide. So I watched it for some reason. And I was like, I can do that too. <laughs> and I'm here. <laughs> I That's never knew actually that. actually really funny. <laughs> <laughs> I never knew that. Uh, so that was another sort of <sighs> teleportation um, reset abuse. I never knew. That's hilarious. Were you already a runner before that point, or no. is it the first game you ran? What? So you have like a patient oh. zero for where it all went wrong? Yep. Oh, That's pretty good. <laughs> that's amazing. In fairness, you were listening to Joe's theme un unironically. I think you were already maybe quite far gone. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's called sad but true. Aww. It's amazing. Like Metallica. So... This chapter, actually, we just greased. I can't lie. We uh, Usually this chapter, casually, is kind of rough. You have to go around all this and grab all these em emblems, but... It's actually, it's one of those things that's not actually that hard. Uh, but it's 
you know, unless you know, you you don't know. It's the same as any maze, right? Uh, you can't just guess the, the, the answer, but if you know it, then it's whatever. But this next part is, uh, I usually kill Yato on this next part. He doesn't know it's on purpose yet. <laughs> now I know. It's okay. We can we can we can edit that part out. Hell we'll, yeah. We'll keep the secret. <laughs> um, no, this is the laser beams. If you played it casually, this is another one of those things. In fact, this is the exact same. If you play it casually, it's like, oh, okay, yeah, cool, cool. Um, but if you know what to do, it's like, whatever. Turn. There you go. Yeah, welcome to the puzzle area. Dallas principal. Yeah, pretty much uh, elementary school uh, puzzle things right here. Me and Yeta race here. The person who gets to the middle fastest is Chad. Which is you. That was a live admission in front of over a thousand people. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this is usually the one where I kill Yato because I turn it too fast, but not this time. Hold up. Sorry, I skill oh issued myself. Oh my god, you donut. What are you doing? I was too scared of killing you. And I went the wrong way. Hold okay, it, there you hold go. it, hold it. There you go. Next time, I'm just gonna burn you. So I never told this guy why you had to hold it, right? You have to hold it because uh, the laser has a chance of going through the thing, which means you will die. Yep. Ooh. Just like that. Because uh, Yato just referred to me as this guy, I will tell you that uh, when he was teaching me the strat, he ran uh, into the laser beam when it was stationary on the corridor. <laughs> <laughs> Reminds you I'm playing with a broken controller. Thank you very much. I got half in the copium. All right. Copium. Uh, <laughs> we still have that trusty initial first aid spray. Yep. I wonder if this is what Irving meant by answers. Not sure, but obviously there's a connection with Umbrella. And that's never a good sign. <laughs> now is when the game gets like. Now is when the game gets to the point that you find out why all the professional leaderboards are empty. Yeah, was, oh no. I was seeing some it's, people in chat earlier like saying that pro on this game is just this ridiculously is hard. So, yeah. The, wow. Uh, uh, don't mind me, this, don't mind me. This don't guy. Me. I'm, just, I'm just flexing my guns, okay? How many viewers? <laughs> <laughs> he blocks me in a doorway and reloads. <laughs> you can save like a second here by the person who's not opening the door being the one to kick, kick it. Pro strats. Um, yeah, I mean, the if, you're, if, if you're a pro, where's your world record? I have three of them. None, none without you. <laughs> Very important to note. None of Very them are without important. you. But I do have three world records. <laughs> um, yeah, the liquors wow. suck for a professional, but more importantly, uh, the end game, the enemies have guns. And that is heinous. Egregious, even. On professional. It's like... I think two shots is what kills you, but it's machine guns, so it's just just get deleted. <laughs> That's another one of those examples where it's a door that Sheva usually reaches it first. In that case. She needs to be on the right and Chris on the left, and it's. Uh, but that was fine. Sometimes I can get sticky. I had all my faith in Yato, so it was fine though. Uh huh? Did I stutter? <laughs> we want to avoid messing with these guys if we can because they're stronger than we are. Come on! Come on! Okay, come on! Please! Ah! I got pranked. 
I got Frank. Thanks. But yeah, come on to me, bro. Sorry, I just had flashbacks. <laughs> Our last run died here because, well, because of a lot of reasons, really. I failed that QTE last time being one of them. Oh my god. Come here. Come here. There we go. That took me long enough. Casually, I didn't know this was a thing you could do. Too deep. I am so glad. I am so glad that I'm sharing my screen. Oh my god. I am so happy that I'm sharing my screen. I cannot believe that just happened. Are you, are you good, sir? <laughs> I, op I opened my inventory to check if I had another nade. And so what that is, it's a cutscene and a QTE appears in the cutscene. Um, and immediately happens out of it, if that makes sense. Uh, so because I had my inventory open, I couldn't do the QTE. And I died. That was That's horrible. Incredible. That You love that, to see it. You do not. All right, mental no, I don't have another nade. Don't open your inventory. Wow. I don't even want a fast reload now. I'm scared. I can't believe that. Okay, don't that. press anything except X, please. I ain't pressing a goddamn thing. Thank you. I'm so happy. I'm so happy that my screen is streaming. We don't have an aid. Well, we don't have an aid. I try. I'll heal. Kind of far away. Thank you. You move, as with all the other RE games, you move much slower when you're in caution or danger, so uh, you want to sort that out basically as soon as you can. Oh, uh, I tried, I tried. These things um, are good to shoot. They drop you ammo, they drop you nades, which just makes things a lot easier. Uh, it's so hard to do. No nades. There we go. Just die already. Well, he will. So, good job, Chris. Good job. Nice. He's gone. No, come back, no. He was so young. <laughs> and that was only 5-1. Uh, the chat just get progressively worse. <laughs> Worse from here. Six two is kind of chill, but five two, five three, six one, and six three. No, thank you. 
give you a little bit of hanging out as a treat so I can, whatever, don't matter. So this was the facility Excella was talking about. She's got us under surveillance. Now I remember what we forgot. You can ask her. Don't even... What? It's Did not necessary. It's not necessary. What did you forget? Uh, asking you to get the flash rounds. Oh, uh, I guess. Because that is in 4-1. Oh. oh, so actually, I take it back. That is something so that ugly. I forgot. That's something that I forgot. I take it back. That's my bad. Uh, yeah, so imagine two of these shots would kill you on uh, professional. And there's this many dudes. Man, he was, he was winging it. Yep, I'm not gonna make it, of course. You're all good, you're all good. I got you. Please, please, the door, the door, the door! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so professional is, like, not a thing. Get that out. Get that right out. Zombies with the blickies, you love to see it. One hundred thirty-eight. That's a decent amount. Yeah. So we're. I remember from earlier. We're getting towards the end game. So this is where you start like having to count ammo a lot more, right? Yeah. What ammo? I have to like ammo. be really careful with it. Yep. I hope that ammo only asking that question distracted the viewers from the fact that both of us went the wrong way on that hallway. <laughs> Word right, record. I knew it was coming, dude. I got you. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, I so... Was, go on, sorry. I was checking something, but I forgot I have to hit the box. I just I was like, nah, I'm too lazy. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're getting right towards the end of the game now. Obviously, when the enemies have guns, you know, it's a lot easier said than done. Oh, wait, I'll just witness this real quick. Okay, we're good. So that I'm first guy, that first guy that um, we just walked past, we just moonwalked past. If he um, spots you, he triggers an alarm. He doesn't spot you if you are moonwalking. I don't know why. Uh, so you just walk backwards past him and uh, there's no crescendo event. Everyone's hanging out. The trigger only happens if one of the two players look at him. That's Pretty why chilling. it's not possible in single player because the AI always looks at him. Wow. Oh. <laughs> um, but yes, so there's a few things coming up that just make ammo conservation stuff a lot harder. The enemies having guns is a huge thing, you know, they're just annoying like that. Um, there's also the fight with Jill and Wesker. Uh, to avoid Wesker timing out, you have to do a decent amount of damage to him, which is not really possible. Oops. This dude, uh, without just firing a bunch of ammo into him. And there's uh, like liquor defense part, where you split up, one has to push a box, and the other one has to shoot liquors. And that's also quite impractical. Do I even have space? Yeah. That's also quite impractical without uh, a lot of ammo. And by the time that ends, you, well, you are at the very, very end game, and you have no ammo. So it's I fine. have no flesh here, so you ready to cry, bro? No. <laughs> that was not a convincing no, but uh, I'll take it. It's fine. Missiles. What could they be planning? Bruh. Safety purposes. What did you grab? Red herb. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I'm going first. On his left. Those are Reapers. Uh, they are horrendous. They're insta-kill. They can only insta-kill you as far as I know. And, uh, what do you mean suck. only? They have a scratch. Right. 
This feels like it's the slowest way you can do this, but it's not. Me and Yato raced. I still can't believe it. Even though we did a race, I still can't believe this is fastest. I told you. You can try. What you want, a 10% chance to make it faster? Or a guaranteed way that's, uh, you know... It's not even faster because of the box. It's just, whatever, it's the same. <coughs> I just can't believe it. I just can't believe it. There's no enemy that will grab you for no stupid reason. Uh, I take you. I don't want to take you, but it's whatever. I can take it if there's whatever. E okay, here, mix. Bruh. Uh, so this is the next reason we have... Bro, you could have just reset, actually. This is the third Ooh. reason that you have to reset. Um, is this heinous beast. I hope this works. Oh, wait. So that you, you need the flash rounds here. I might have to break the rules. Nah, it's fine. You got it, you got it, you got it. Please, God. Easy. Oh, wow. Did you, did you die? You died. Went backwards. Um, cool. You died for sure. But that's chapter end, right? Um, incredible. <laughs> My guy's a ghost. My guy's a ghost. <laughs> um, okay. So you, usually you would use a flash round to destroy that. Um, yeah. To set off the mines. Uh, and he couldn't. Because I didn't pick them up. Completely not my bad. But it's okay because we killed Chris. I'm so intrigued. <laughs> I'm so intrigued. What's going to put your health at? Uh, one HP. What if you just die? No, one HP. My guy didn't heal me. Yeah, Something screw you. Stone and I'm, I'm joking, I'm joking. I was concerned know. about whether he was going to die, and then he hits me with the screw you. I'm, jo I'm joking, I'm joking. It, it, it's it's, it's uh, muscle memory. Oh. <laughs> what about homie memory? <laughs> homie? Oh yeah, you're right. My bad, my bad. Come on! Oh, okay. Protect me at the door. So not this door? one. The one on the left. So the room that you'll see right there in front of you. I stand outside the door. I'm a dum dum. There we go. I'm letting you cook. I'm letting you cook. But yeah, I'm, yeah, my bad, I'm, my bad. I'm interested. Yes, it's been 2,000 years since I played this game. Oh, oh. It seems so intricate. Like all the stuff you gotta remember. Yeah. yeah. It's a do you mess. see? Do you see now that the jokes were like real? I literally just follow Yato and he handles all the big boy stuff. <laughs> I mean, so you're, this, you're both doing it. This section is, uh, that is one. This section is rough. Uh, there are three Reaper eggs. This is the second one. Second one doesn't pop. It's always two. If you're unlucky, it's all three of them. Okay, I've got to be really careful here. Yep. I'm dead. Oh, bro. No, I'm dead. Wait, flash doesn't work like that. Right? Oh. Yep. So, sorry. <laughs> it's the point that you don't follow me, by the way, or else we will be in a situation like this. However, I do understand you because there's no merchant. <laughs> and there's no stuff merchant. inside. 
no merchant is uh is heinous. <laughs> oh, uh, man, you back this far. Woof. That was heinous. I I shouldn't have gone in the room. Uh, but as Yato said, there's such juicy stuff in there. There's hang yeah, on rounds. You can't, you can't leave it alone. But it's fine, it's fine. I didn't know it was that deep. I didn't know they were both going to come wait, and give wait, me a hug. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. No second, go to the uh, switch. Yep, yep, yep. I might have done uh, something terrible. Yeah, the reason why I turn around and instantly shoot there is because I can die really fast. If I don't, is he behind me? Go, 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 go. Nice. I'm on it, I'm on it, I'm on it. Bye. Woo. Yeah, that was tense. <laughs> no yep. merchant sucks, never run it. <laughs> Great example. Yeah, what? Showcase. Do you want me to leave these guys for you, Yato? Yato? No. Alright. Oh, you, do you not have flash rounds? No. Awesome. So, uh, these things oh, suck. Works. Okay. Um, but these... These guys always do the... Parasite. And flash rounds and... Um, Apparently, electric rounds kill them in one hit, and they spooked me Continue. so much I forgot to bring Yato over. I don't know what the outcome is of that, but we'll see. Improvising on the fat, don't shoot me. Get out. No. <laughs> I can't live with that. Tally just texted us Yato saying, definitely never going to touch no merchant. <laughs> As you should. She knows. As you should. It's, um, it's not good for your health. Oh, it's funny though. That's so this this is another one of those parts where uh, Yato does stuff. I hang out. I had forgotten that like er earlier, when a like when a co-op player dies, they just die. Like you can't get them back up. Yeah, exactly. You can go into like dying, like uh, Yato did um, when the stunned guy hit hit him, um, and it would have happened in the boss fight too but the ch ch chapter ended you can be like rezzed uh but my death was a QT that I missed so it's an in in instant death and then Yato's was like weird can I please hit him no, that doesn't work it. oh my god Give me a second. Are you good? Controller, help me. Help me. Alright, fine. I got you. Bum, 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 bum. <coughs> So did the I, I, I assume there are enemies here. Do they just not hit you if you're standing in like certain spots, or are they just actually that dumb? Yeah, no, I, I don't. Dumb. I don't think it's that deep. We're not doing anything special. This is um, 
Again, it's sort of a pseudo auto scroller. We, we're good going up on the lift, and then en enemy spawn, pull the lever, and then stop the lift. And Yato sorts them out. <laughs> cool reload animation. A guy hitting the manual reload. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh, that's very interesting. What's up? I use all my electric rounds. And, um... Wesker? They're not Wesker. Yeah, Wesker. Yeah, Wesker. There's Wesker. Do you have rounds? Do we have the opportunity to get more? Nope. Only ways buying. My guy killed the run for no reason. In 5-2 of all places. What do you mean? <laughs> you can't... Am I right in saying you can't? You need the... Oh, you have flame rounds. Okay, no man. For what? I misunderstood. I thought you needed grenade launcher rounds for... To, to defeat Wesker. We no. Then we need to the control. I don't know. I just watch. I thought that's what you were saying. I thought you were like, Oh, I just fired all my rounds for no reason. Yeah, I use all my electric rounds. And then there was a dynamo, uh, yeah, dynamo effect, which was insane. Okay, bro. The weird flex. Gotta get the emblem. Gotta get the emblem. I don't know where any of the other 29 are. Why have I gone up here yet? I don't have weapons. Yeah, I marked that one, never mind. Oh, uh, I remember this at the, at uh, my ever first ever ESA run, like uh, in person. I actually counted with the entire crowd, I guess, till twenty eight. And now I just know the the visual cue, which is uh, not getting licked, by the way. Can't hit them, and I just had a summer, so this is rough. This is so rough. Is this a reset? No, I'm almost there. Oh, I can't. I don't have the space for that. I was about to say. Oh, it would. One, <laughs> it would let you back off to heal. Two, That's wild. Three. Okay, now I just have to pray. I believe. Nice. I think you got this. They have slow drops. It's fine. So liquors have uh, an instant death attack. Uh, you're about to see what happened to me. If uh, now nah, we're all good. Bruh. All right. Resale because I don't have my Magnum. Seven minutes. Seven. Uh, he said the line. He said the line. Cannot believe they made uh, it by daylight into a real thing. That's crazy. Into a yeah. real thing. That's insane. Oh, if you didn't pick it up yet, uh, me and Yatagami both live in Europe. Uh, for me, it's 4.37. For Yato, it's 5.37 in the morning. We're regretting our life choices right now. But we're having fun. With that I, moment, can't, so it's I fun. can't believe you both agreed to come on. <laughs> so I was like, hey, it's this time. And both of you were like, yeah, okay, sure. We can't, can do that. we can't believe that you asked. That we were like, huh? Wrong account? You put the numbers wrong? I know. Uh, so this is the same, uh, the same as our usual strat. Yato does the bus fight. I make Jill roll, so she just leaves Yato alone. Uh, if I'm you do too much, 
man's getting murked. If you do too much damage to um, Jill, she dies and it's a game over. Wrong one. I need healing. I'm just barely healing, sorry. If you leave Jill to her own d d devices, she'll just shoot her machine gun at Chris or at me. Um, you can do this too. Like that. Excuse me. And the battle's over. And that voice line means the fight's done. Or the Wesker part is done. Okay, wait, does this actually time out after seven minutes? Yes, if you yes. don't That's do funny. enough damage. If we can that chest. Yeah, sorry, sorry, you can re reset. I, um... So, yeah, my usual strat is just to follow Yato, but that... My strat is actually different. My strat is to not touch my controller. Uh... So, because Yato knows the setup for how to get Jill to do her business. There you go. And I interrupted it. <laughs> oh my god. One. Two. Can my controller please work with me? Give me a minute. Hold on a second. Oh my god. I can't see you, Jill. Please be nice. Jill? I can't see! Can't see? Yeah, I have to hit her on the chest on that thing, but if she doesn't show me correctly, I can't see. One. Okay, I'm gonna try with keyboard and mouse. This is gonna be painful, but... Ooh, right. Two, three, four, Five, six, seven. Go behind her. Grab her. No option. No option? No. That was, oh my, oh my god. god. What are you doing? Stop this, Jill, answer me. Bro, sorry. Fine. Fine. <laughs> She's suplexing her straight Fine. into the ground. Fine. By accident. Fine. Fine. <laughs> nice job. That was sweaty. That was heinous. All right. Yeah, so do you want to take a minute to explain what on earth that was about? Um, so the fight takes like uh, 15 minutes, but you can make it shorter by just um, using a unupgraded VZ and shoot her eight times in the leg, seven times in the chest. Grab the thing and it will instantly go off. You will be fine with six as well, but you have to mash. And if it's five or lower, you will have to deal with. Uh, oh snap! I forgot my sniper. But you have to do deal with uh, the usual jail stuff, which is uh, kind of annoying. Uh, there are several ways in uh, yeah there are several ways to do it you can do the flash threat you can do the the fizzy threat you can do knife that's why they call yes. him got me now I was gonna ask is that like is that was that difficult just because this is no merchant or is is that just annoying it's difficult in general yeah yeah that's just annoying. This is a fun asynchronous thing. So usually, um, casually, we would go together here. Uh, and this is when you learn about the mechanics of the rising doors. Uh, and then there's <coughs> there's a suspicious looking first aid spray on the floor. Uh, and you go grab it and a oh cage. Oh my god. A cage falls on the player that grabs it. 
Um, and then that's, uh, did you get it? I don't see him. I believe he's dead. Uh, and then a cage falls on the player that grabs the first aid spray. Uh, then it's a whole thing. You have to go uh, climb up that tower I'm looking at now and go and deactivate the cage. Uh, but if you stand where Yato was just standing and you shoot him with a rifle, like it's not a trigger that just triggers it when you stand there. The guy actually puts it down. Uh, nice. So Yato shoots the guy and you can just walk up, 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 across and it saves a crazy amount of time actually. Yep. Don't know what I'm gonna do when uh Why did I Yeah, why did you? Why did I do that? <laughs> I heard this guy next to me, I was panicking. Fair. Thank you very much. Now get out. I'm gone, I'm gone. <laughs> Oh wait, wrong game. Um, so what? we are trying to uh, walk down in this uh, very long staircase section, which was specifically made for this dialogue to finish from start to end. They wrote it, and there's no enemies. What the heck? There's no enemies. It's literally just made for the dialogue. They wrote it and they felt like the meme of the pen writing on the fire coming out. They thought, no, 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 this is too good. <laughs> yep. Maybe. However, speedrunners don't even hear the dialogue completely. Again, this uh, room on professional is just not, not it, chief. Yeah, just a bunch of uh, enemies with guns. You know, the usual. It's just a Tuesday. Yato, does professional affect their accuracy or only the damage they do? Oh boy, I'm glad you asked. Do you even want to play that? I, I did <laughs> until I remember the guns and then I was like, uh, whatever. But if it... Uh, I mean, This dude's about to take all of our ammo. And dealing with Larry. Oh, okay. I just got smacked. Thank you. I just got smacked again. I just got smacked again. This smacking never stops. Uh, it's AI manipulation, right? Exactly, exactly. It's a time save eventually somewhere. Uh-oh. If we can just walk in there... What is this? This be, is gaming. That will be nice. Is that nice one? Or okay, that's that's possible too. I'm dying. Thanks for the help. So yeah, yeah, so Chris died, uh, and you can resuscitate. Also in professional, the time between entering that phase and death is under a second. Uh, in this, it's more like ten seconds, I think. But it's just yeah, another reason. Yeah, professional is actually on funny. Um, but now you see his health is now in that red thing and uh, you can't just keep doing that and being revived forever you do have to get some actual healing but we have a few uh, if you think if you think aha professional is fun i can heal you in the, at the last second uh, no no it's not possible <laughs> you will see your character spray a dead body it's the healing, so annoying. The healing animation takes time. Like from pressing it, she like pulls the spray out. It's very quick. But in pro professional, you just get juiced. You're dead. Very quick, he said. Was that 6-1? Yep. 
This is yeah, that was six. So this is six two. Uh, heal please. Ooh. Thank you very much. Are the uh, this is actually a question I've had like the whole run. Are the first aid sprays like AOE? Like you can hit both people. Yes. Yep. I so think, um, I assume you yeah. have to be close enough. Exactly. When you have it out, uh, if you're by yourself, it will say heal. Uh, and if you're anywhere near your partner, it's quite generous. Uh, it says heal partner. Uh, and yeah, it's shared. You you can only gain, um, you know, a red herb and a green herb will heal you to full. And if you're with your partner, it will heal you both to full. It's not shared, or, you know, it's just doubled. Um, a curious thing is that you can also heal Josh uh, earlier in the game when he's he's there. And there's been a few times when I've like monkey brained it and I've seen, you know, heal partner, pressed it, and Josh has gone, oh, thanks. Son of a bitch. And I'm like, yeah, nice one. I'll grab Josh. Like, thanks, man. Yeah, Josh can actually get murdered. I don't know. <laughs> we gotta get the hell out of here before it destroys this place. Uh, but yeah, the and the same for giving. You you can uh, give in a certain range too, but it's not forever. Unlimited, rather. Yeah, I got the minimum. I'm just saving it up. Go backwards. Oh wait, I should have done this. Ooh, I was not trusting myself. Yeah, he keeps with so the this, Nikes. This guy is like a mini boss. Uh, he spawns uh -oh. a flagger when you kill him. There we go. Unless you kill him like that, and then he just dies. Uh, but usually he turns into like a really irritating mini boss type thing. Uh, Yato is too good to deal with that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if he turns into uh, that shell creature. And you have a flash, just throw the flash. Don't don't bother wasting ammo on his leg and then in his mouth. Uh do I get any? Absolutely. This is a uh, second class boss. This is Excella, the uh pretty girl that we haven't seen once because we skipped all the cutscenes. Um Again, it gives you a weapon to sort of do her in with. Kind of frustrating. And it's if you're not so quick much. enough, she has an instant kill attack. How do you maintain the aim with the screen shaking that much? But these things drop ammo and uh, health and all sorts, so it's kind of forgiving, but it's just a bit tedious. This thing takes time to charge, but it will charge while it's on the floor. It doesn't have to be anywhere, it just charges. Nice. Ow. You good? So is this one of the fights where you got to be real precise with the oh, ammo, like? And I burn you. You got to make sure you have. Uh, you know, it takes extra yeah. Move. So yeah. while you're highlighting a sensitive area, this circle goes in, and when this circle is like closed, you can fire. So you just got to keep it on it, and then, yeah. Uh, so it's not me choosing to not fire, if that makes sense. It doesn't let you fire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm watching Yato's screen. He's, you know, furiously picking up a bunch of... Uh... Yeah, scared, like, <laughs> fearing for our lives. Because we know what's coming. But we're doing... Uh... Yeah, this is going fine. There we go. Nice. GG. <laughs> It's one of those interesting things where, like, it's really difficult to tell when, like, yeah, this is going great and this is going bad because I feel like the enemies, at least at the end of Resident Evil games, are always huge. Yeah. And just have, like, no visible feedback. Exactly, exactly. That's, yeah. 
with with her especially it's just so like you just keep same as like marguerite in re7 like it's just you just keep going and going and going and eventually she just dies i yeah. of shame i think more than anything else she feels bad for us um so this is 6-3 this is final chapter in the game um we're doing nicely for time we're doing really nicely for time The classic orbital laser laser system that's on all the boats. God damn it, Wesker! On laser, bro. Classic laser. Laser fun. So this is what you're saving the rocket launcher for, right? Or is yes. That, yeah. Yeah, because Wesker, you'll get to see him. You can't get close, so it's not a case if you run out of it. This guy gets juiced. Uh, if you run out of ammo, it's just like, that's that's the game. I don't, I'm sure it's possible to kill him with a knife. I have no idea how the low percent guys do it. It is. Just, no, don't do it. <laughs> I got the, I got you, I got you on this guy. Thank you. Easy. Sorry. You don't skip this cutscene because the door is open in the cutscene or in gameplay, so you may as well not skip. Um, I just get the yeah, doors so you, open. You make free. progress while doing nothing. But uh, I always skip it by accident because I don't think about it. I see cutscene and I hammer the skip button. Yeah, he's a donut. It's fine. Monkey brain. So uh, here we are at our final chapter, which is also the final uh, auto scroller. Fun. Yeah, you pull the levers and then you wait for these big old doors to open. Yep. Because Wesker was like, yo, we start with an auto scroller, we end with an auto scroller. But this one is different because we have guns now and items and whatnot. Just worse. Just more tricky. Whoa, that was a kill. I'm just out here playing Street Fighter, don't mind me. So this is a bit of a gauntlet running at these guys now. The sun's coming up. The sun is the coming sun up. The sun is coming up. Oh no. I suspect the sun might be up for you actually. You live in a flat country. <laughs> what better way to start the day? Exactly. What better way to uh, start start the day than with Red Wolf and Tally's sick R RE6 run? I'm actually excited. I, I can't sleep now after this. I've I'm so keen. I hate these things so much. They strike the fear of God into me. Yato, run up! <laughs> <laughs> Just okay. don't get grabbed, son. Just don't get grabbed, he <laughs> says. Now you see why I left him earlier in the in the dark, and I said it sounds like a him issue. Why are you? Oh, I brought you a friend. Okay, it's fine. He wanted my auto. He's flying. Oh, that doesn't work. Well, I'm dead. Nice to meet you. No, I got you. I got you. Oh Thank my you God. Go closer. I don't want to hear nothing else here. from you. <laughs> Please be stuck. Yes. Very, very British thing of me to do to almost get you killed, then save you, then demand. Thank you. Okay, bye. Have a great time. See, I was under the impression he was going to use the Magnum. Nice one. <laughs> and now there is but one more enemy to defeat 
ourselves. <laughs> True. Yeah, imagine if they pulled a, uh... Something doesn't feel right. A way out. We had to, like, fight each other at the end. Oh, yeah, or, like, Black Ops 2, the Easter egg in, um, yeah. Mob of the Dead. Way better zombie game than this, by the way, Black Ops 2. It's a Call of Duty game. I've had the, uh... Call of Duty Zombie speedrunners on this show. It's a oh, wow. fascinating series. Yeah, yeah, that is crazy. Well, because they have the unique thing where they're like high score runners and they're and uh, like speed runners mm -hmm. are kind of fighting the same goal because they're. Um, I'm gonna mess this up. Whatever, I don't care. Um, what basically denotes how high you can go in terms of rounds. Bruh. Oh. Uh, it's like weirdly affected to how long you take. You know, so if you get to round 100 in like two uh -oh. hours, you can go longer. Hey, you will not. Because the this. game just ends by cra crashing. So they have like a really weird pooling of knowledge, and it's awesome. So some of the stuff they get up to is so crazy. We played Tekken last year, Wesker. Leave it alone. I feel like Wesker could be doing more than just walking at you, like menacingly. Medicine He's got the source as well, oh, he's he not bothered. Oh, there you go. Where are you? Uh, not in that corner. Did he either. just walk up slowly and turn on the lights? What a sad... Can I hit him now? Because he hasn't got vision, right? Oh, no, he does have vision. No, he can see in the light. To let him walk in the darkness. Now you should. What the? The epic music <laughs> with Wesker Bruh. just walking very slowly across. Yeah. Okay, now we have a problem. Damn. <laughs> In fact, is it even worth resetting at that point? I wish I could say yes. But I'm too too much of a new Game Plus player to even understand what's going on. <laughs> I think it surely is, right? Rather than... Oh, yeah, that's uh, uh, it's fine. If we can do it in one in one rocket, sure. Ali is going to be watching this pulling her hair out at me right now. Uh-oh. What is this Saints Row looking fight? Uh oh. I was not expecting that. It's been a while. Help. I don't do that. Are you kidding me? Man, I love Tekken. You trying to like bait him into what? a couple very specific attacks? Um, trying to hit him with this goddamn rocket. I think, yes, I think this is probably a reset at this point. Fine. <laughs> so usually, um, it's a lot hit easier to hit him with that rocket, uh, and you only really need to hit one, maybe two. Uh, he was having none of it. Oops. Oh, that's a thing. Oh, I still remember. That's so awesome. Just shoot him in the back. Back shots is a preferred term, bro. <laughs> oh no, smoke, oh, please. No. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Is so you just turn out the lights so that he can't dodge, right? Yeah. Well, he be- has sunglasses for some reason. Has it never occurred to you that this planet is overpopulated? Only a handful of humans truly match There, there we go. go. Well, forward. Yep. What do you think is going to happen? <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice I'm going to stop the rocket. I'm going <laughs> to have it as a trophy. <laughs> Can I redirect it? <laughs> redirect. <laughs> Yo, could have gone a basket, actually? Ensuring complete global saturation. <laughs> oh, no, button. So if you ever get compelled to boot up this game <coughs> and you do somehow last as long as the Wesker fight, I have to just tell you that the QTE in just a moment, this one, is the funniest one to miss in the entire game. The that death animation is so funny. That is true. We just snap your neck like it's some uh, new pack of chips. He, he turns Chris's head like 180 degrees, but his body's still facing forward. Or a Iconic. bottle, cracking open a bottle. Exactly. Uh, so this is when we, we said that it's possible to knife Wesker. Like, that thing just sends you into the sky. Uh, yeah, right. so it's just resetting to put on the rocket launcher. So this is the point we got to after the swamp stage in the boat. When we realized, well, hang on, we don't have the rocket launcher. <laughs> And uh, in this cat- category, it's not rocketless like Tali and Aish. Uh, so this is just Yato, the god, hitting this insane trick. Easy. First time. And now you just hit these. Time. Time. <laughs> Fun. We got him. And then Jill spawns in. Never fails to make me laugh. Never fails. Like, to she make looks me like laugh. she's been edited in. It's so crazy. Like cringe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just chilling. No, she's been there the whole time, bro. Trust me. Literally, literally, like incredible. <laughs> and uh, that was RE5 No Merchant. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. So uh, if people want to learn this. You know, no merchant, other categories. What's the best place for them to go? Uh, yeah. um, yes, I'm the RE5 Discord, of course. Um, there are a lot of people that will help you out if you're new, uh, including me. I, uh, yeah. Yato is I mean, a fantastic Snackalos, teacher. I hit me up. Uh, other people that were like uh, trying to learn how to get less than two hours in, IGT, by the way on console and uh we were in fc we did a couple of showcases uh helping here and there it's fun it's fun it's fun yeah Yetta's a fantastic t- teacher and so many members of the community are so like fun you know they'll come and hang out and be like oh you're doing this again you know and now josh you and it's, it's it's actually nice you know it's a cool i started this you know kind of just messing around with y- yato and now here we are like crying about half second time losses on doors so it's a uh, it's an addictive <laughs> game to, to, to run but oh my god it's so so frustrating yeah we yeah. did it so we uh, did it any shout outs from you yes sir uh shout out to tain the tally of course uh for asma um shout out to treasure plays of course, Trash again. <laughs> ah, of course, Tra- Trasher plays actually our biggest and possibly only fan. Uh, Tra- Trash is fantastic and always comes and watches us kill runs by f- forgetting things. He's fantastic. Also, shout sh- out to my fantastic dad who uh, showed me Resident Evil when I was maybe too young. And uh, it was probably the start of the downward spiral that led me to playing No Merchant on purpose at 5 a.m. <laughs> Under estimate, 205 dead. Kind of clean, actually. 
Um, so yeah, shout out to everyone in the chat. Shout out everyone to, uh, to, uh, that is watching. Shout out to GDQ for having this opportunity. Uh, oh, of course, really yeah. Really appreciate being here. It's uh, yeah, one in a lifetime thing. Whoever thought I would uh, spend my time 4 a.m. playing this game. <laughs> Oh, worth it though yeah and of course thanks to uh to you guys for ha having us on this has been uh this has been fun i don't know what i thought you know i saw the screenshot of the message i was like what time in the morning <laughs> but no it's been been fun you know we'll gladly do, do it again oh shout outs to ishma for also being awake and watching the run what a guy um yeah just everyone in the community is actually a super 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 nice it's uh really pleasant yeah Awesome. Well, hey, thanks to both of you for, you know, being up so early and <laughs> agreeing to do this. I still can't believe you did, but oh, hey, you it's know, fun. We we get to we get to showcase two of the uh, the least shown, I think, Resident Evil games. Is uh, yeah, and I, this I category think, sucks. Yeah, no think, one else would do deserve, it. So. <laughs> I think they deserve way more love. So we are. Uh, it was Yadagami and Smacklosa doing RE Five uh, Co op No Merchant, and we're gonna go to a quick break, and we'll be right back with. Uh, Tainted Tally and Texan Red Wolf doing RE6 Chris's campaign. So stick around and we'll see you back in a bit. Alright, hey everyone. Welcome back to Aimbot. Uh, a couple announcements before you go get into the next run. Uh, all of your subs, Prime Gaming subs, give subs, and bits cheered on GDQ help support uh, Hotfix and shows like this. So if you like what we're doing, uh, please consider subscribing if you want to support. Uh, my show and other shows like this. And this is a lead-in right here. I thought about this one. SGDQ is coming up May 28th to June 4th in Minneapolis, Minnesota. If you want to attend the event, registration is open until May 7th. There's still spots open. Uh, go to gamesonquick.com for more info. And at that event, you can see our next two runners, Tainted Tally and, Res and Texan Red Wolf, doing Resident Evil 6. I know. Genius. Anyway, uh, let me throw it over to them. Uh, they're not doing the, the run they're showcasing there. They're doing Chris's campaign, which I've been told is horrendously funny at crashing. So I'm I'm really excited to see that. So take it away, y'all. All right, so hi, everyone. My name is Tinta Tali. Uh, you can just call me Tali, uh, and I speed on this game and other retro and horror games. And I'm here with my partner. Uh, I'm Texan Red Wolf, and uh, I also speedrun this game uh, and a variety of other uh, speedruns. And we also have a commentator with us. Uh, I'm Solus Persona. I think I've touched this game maybe once or twice in my life. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> Alright, uh, so since this is a long run, should we just get into it and then start explaining what's actually in the game? Yeah, um, what I will say though for um, whoever's hitting that timer button, you'll know when time starts when we fade to black when Tally joins my uh, joins the game. Yeah. And we will be doing Chris's campaign. And uh, if, like you know, like the lead in said, uh, we are going to do this at SGDQ as well, but we will not be doing Chris's campaign. We will not be doing Leon's. But. Uh, for those of you watching, you can kind of pick what we're doing because uh, we will be doing a bid war between Jake and Ada. So you can in donate to it. Yeah, I got Perfect. it. I'm coming in. All right, and there we go. Time starts. Yeah. I I just started yeah. your name, Texan. Wow. <laughs> yeah, when I. Uh, also, another comment on. Oh, go ahead. I was going to say, when I had, uh, I think it was Maxi Lobes on the stream, he expressed a very mm -hmm. strong Can't preference. Running away. Uh, I think it was for Ada. I have to face the uh, for Jake. For Jake. <laughs> amateur. It's on amateur difficulty, not no hope, I'll by the way. Remember. Yeah, it's it's amateur. The only way I'll get my uh, but yeah, Wait, did I? Maxi's actually. We'll be, we'll be here for ten years. Wait, did you send it to no hope? I, no, 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 I sent it, I sent it to, to amateur. It's because it's New Game Plus. We wouldn't have been able to. It's it's fine. I sold this okay, made me panic. <laughs> <laughs> you can't if you're you can't join if you have it on a hope. It'll automatically put you up no hope. But if you put it on amateur, yeah, you're fine. Okay. okay. Oh, gee. Huh? don't do that what? to me. <laughs> <laughs> but no, some somebody in chat was asking is why. Also for um. In terms of the run, if y'all want some good memes, like the spiciest memes of 
what you should never do in a co-op game, choose Ada. Please vote for Ada. I beg vote for Ada. No. <laughs> uh, no. But yeah, Sorry, speaking of Maxi Loaves, uh, he's actually doing commentary on the run before ours, which is Future Charles uh, on the SGDQ schedule, uh, and he's gonna help uh, push our bid war. But <laughs> so shout outs yeah. to Maxi. Yeah, yeah, big shout outs to Maxi, especially if we get the the run that we're hoping we get. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know if we really introduced what, what, what we're doing, but uh, it, we're really. currently going through Chris's campaign. There are four separate campaigns in Resident Evil 6. You have Leon, Chris, Jake, and Ada. And we, Italian and I, have spent the last six to eight months um, learning all four of these runs to do all campaigns. Uh, out of all four of them, uh, and Tally, you can correct me here if I'm wrong in speaking for you as well, but the probably the best one we is Jake, after that is Chris, then Leon, mm. then Ada. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, Ada's not necessarily a bad campaign, it's just a good solo campaign. It's not a good co-op campaign. Uh, it was but it's full of solos. memes, exactly. That's and exactly they added the, the co-op later, and you can tell it was later. Yep, yep. Uh, basically, player two is just present, uh, <laughs> not yeah. doing a whole lot. No, no player is there two to be is pretty. damage. It also increases your DA, so it's good fun. Yep. Uh, but yeah, today we're doing Chris, which is really, it is a fun campaign, but it is also probably the most uh, unstable one. Uh, yes. Not really an issue right here at the start, uh, but once we get into the chapter with uh, a big snake, um, we will. Uh, chapter two is probably where you might start seeing it. I yeah. had it happen in chapter two. Okay. Onwards. Yeah, yeah we're... it's a snake that has been our biggest issue. Uh, yeah, whenever snake we is get another to... one. Two and three are the worst of them, and chapter five that one's soft lock. Yeah. yeah, when we uh, it's when we get to Yon 2.0 that the biggest worry is at least. Uh, as Harley was saying, like that's that's our biggest issue currently for disconnects. Um, yep. There's also the boat section, which is notorious to crash. Yep. Which has happened to us, I want to say, twice. Also, I'm talking a bit about like tech that we're doing. What you might notice is that every time we kick a door open, we will try to go into an aim pretty soon after because that cancels the end uh, of the door opening animation. Letting us get through the door just that little bit quicker. You can technically also delay it and slide out of it if you want. It gives you the same amount. On the PS3 and 360 first, you can actually open up the uh, comms menu, not comms menus, but the navigation menu, which is actually faster, but you can't do it on any other version besides PS3 and 360. Amazing. Oh, come on. Totally why would, why would you smack me? Right. Because he loves you. <laughs> Sitting over here, getting getting bullied um, immediately. Yeah. Also, most of Chris's chapter one, besides a few areas, is mostly get to point A to point B, run through. Not a lot of interesting tech. There's going to be some more towards the end, however, yeah. in the last section. Mm -hmm. Alright, go left up here. Okay. All right. Maybe, maybe this is because I, I'm dumb. Are both of you Chris? I uh, know. No. There's Chris and Pierce. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I so am running Texas. around as Chris and Tally yeah. is Pierce. Yeah. So Got you know, oh, you all know Chris. Chris Redfield, everyone's favorite. Uh, and then I'm playing someone who was uh, new, new and introduced in RE6, uh, which is Pierce Nivens. And sadly, he's, he's basically. Not He's basically Chris 2.0 was yeah. designed to be Chris 2.0, and yeah. then they killed him off. Yeah. Uh, yes, yes. Spoilers, spoilers to the end. Wow, a ten-year-old game. Whatever no, no. will we do? Yeah, spoilers. Uh, yeah, don't get do, attached to Pierce. They do have like the story arc where they basically set him up to like, oh yeah, after this game, Chris is gonna retire and Pierce is gonna take over, but. <laughs> like, like we just spoiled for you, that's not happening. Uh, uh, yeah, well, Pierce I, I unfortunately mean, and, does die by the end of the game, and uh, he's not going to be taking over Chris anytime yeah. soon. And we also have RE7 and RE8 to really nail home that Chris did mm -hmm. not retire. Yeah, yeah. But it was supposed to. Or, so they say anyway. Yeah, so I believe the original plan was to have Chris die and Pierce take over, but they uh, chicken out of it. Mm-hmm. I can't, I can't get rid of Chris. Which is sad, because Pierce is really a cool character. 
I guess the muscle memory saved me there. Hey, Pierce, take a look. You don't have attack reaction on, do you? Hmm? I uh, don't think I do. No. Okay. No. Because I believe, if, I think you can actually do it taking without attack reaction. You can't accidentally shoot Chris with this. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, and it's right, so him. And, and of course, if you lose all your health, you die. So. Ah, amazing. Really god. Man, we're gonna have a few parts like this where we split up. Uh, I have, My path here is way faster uh, than the one Chris has, so I just try and basically help by covering. Uh, yeah, taking out I, some of these I, enemies. I spam so they, axe. What are they doing? And then uh, we're about to regroup, and sometimes this does get a little confusing on my end due to the way that the camera angles happen in this game. If you if you see one of us get very suddenly confused as to where we're going, it's it's probably camera angles, and it's probably me that it's happening to. <laughs> <laughs> the camera angles in this can be a menace. Also, if you actually want to watch him do, you can actually hold the co-op button and actually see what Chris is doing. I keep forgetting that the thing. Because in solo, one of the best things to do is go to your co-op door and get off of it. You tap it and get off, and usually, depending on distance, the AI will run to you. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright. I'm also surprised you're, or at least, you might not just be doing some where you're at. But when you're reloading, you can't weapon switch to cancel the reload when you're full in your mag. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just right now, it's like, yeah, I'm waiting at it. Yeah. Yeah, some people actually don't know you can do that while reloading, is why I mention it. Yeah. You can basically uh, weapon switch, they re cancel a lot of things, uh, including recoil, which if you really want to do some broken stuff with a grenade launcher uh, later on, you can side switch and uh, weapon switch the um, your, to, like, to like another weapon rapidly. And basically, you can just rapid fire the grenade launcher if you so desire. It's good in a few instances. To HQ. We're at the Ace of I don't think I, we were, usually don't do that a whole lot in this campaign, but it's, for instance, in Jake, so you know, vote for Jake for SGDQ. Uh, we will do that a whole lot more. Ah, uh, you don't do it with a copter, uh, the uh, yeah, helicopter we, or in the final boss? Uh, or, so... Like, I try to, but... I'm not good at it with the grenade launcher. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because the recoil is a little wacky on the grenade launcher. Wait, did we we touch the door, right? Oh, yeah, 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 I touched you it. You don't okay. have you don't have to touch the door, but I mean, I just walked up to it. To the yeah. Middle. Um, but yeah, you don't even. I never touched the door with it. But for helicopters, we use the swap. So the 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 grenade launcher swap will be shown. Um, most you, of the time, I just run around with the assault rifle because that seems to be pretty quick. Also, to give an update on what's happening here, this is basically kill all the enemies. You basically want to kill all the enemies before a certain point, and uh, it makes it go faster. So we're just going to be chilling here for a few minutes. Yeah. Now, another question for y'all. The thing, the difference of New Game and New Game Plus, plus besides, of course, the weapons you have, you have, RE6 has skill settings where you can put a, skills on certain things to increase your power. Uh, have your power increase without the reticule uh, increased power for a grenade launcher, your gun, like certain guns, the uh, higher defense, etc. What skill settings are you using? Do y'all use shooting wild? Uh, I have Tally shooting wild does. on my second uh, thing, but not on like my base. No, so I will do, switch to full... shooting wild when we are in like the helicopter and stuff. Yeah. Basically, you can skill swap in new game. You don't get access to all like eight. You get eight skill settings that you can free uh, add. Uh, either before you start the campaign or when you're going into the next chapter, unless you're on No Hope. No oh Hope God. skills are inactive. Like, that you you just running raw. And you can switch, <laughs> and if you have the keyboard, you can switch on the fly. Consoles, yeah. you have to actually get on your, like, little phone and do it. But yes. I don't, I don't know why running do raw it. had me chuckle there, but that's, <laughs> that's a fun phrase. <laughs> You know exactly <laughs> why. <laughs> but, um, but, yeah, a lot of times, if you want to go full max power, you do firearm three, increase your attack by 50%. Whatever weapon mastery you're using, 50%, mm -hmm. and shooting wild. No reticule, but increase it by 50%. Uh, very dangerous with a grenade launcher because you can one shot yourself. Yeah, yeah which, which is, is why, why specifically for the grenade launcher skill set, you usually do defense instead of firearm. Usually. You can go, you know, while oh, yeah. and not do it, but I, I, I'm with, I have defense. 
Yeah, I you have can do defense well. for certain areas. That's rec I recommend that yeah. one if you just want to be safe. Now, in certain areas, it is better just to do the I'll default the settings for most weapon. campaigns, mm -hmm. which Not is team, firearm three, weapon, whatever your mastery is, and what weapon design. you're using, and um, you just do infinite yeah. ammo. But yeah, if you're if you really Chris is really risky because it's very easy just up. Wow, your like an enemy runs in front of you and you just you just bite the dust. Yep. It's uh. It's I generally I'm run with a mixture of uh, the defense depending where it is and the um the one with the like the better firepower to it depending on where I'm at at one point because DA is a thing. That I, is also I, a DA is. I stopped running around with the grenade launcher because I have a silly trigger finger and kept blowing myself and tally up and then realized that using the assault rifle was pretty much just as good, so I don't have to worry all the time about accidentally yeah. nuking us into the sun. Now, the other thing that it's preferred to use Chris's is um, grenade launcher than the AK. AK, in this game, especially in Chris's campaign, Jake, and halfway through Ada's, the enemies can mutate. The grenade launcher will bypass Did the mutation if you do enough damage. You awesome. got it, by the way. Awesome. Yeah. Now, okay. with the AK, you have a chance of getting the enemy to mutate, which causes some issues. Grenade launcher will bypass it. There's like one also, place in Jake's campaign uh, where that comes into play, too. Yeah. Alright, let's see if I can get this. I believe... So what Tally's trying to got do, it. which she got, was making sure that we didn't lose that enemy there with the hostage, because if we lose the enemy with the hostage, that uh, it, it makes this section take longer. Yeah. Yeah, you basically have to try to catch them. In co-op, it's easier to do, because one person can trigger the cutscene. It plays a cutscene there for whoever triggers it, and the other person can just fire at it. And, but in solo, what you do is you normally toss a grenade, because you have grenades. You have a flash grenade and regular grenades. You just toss a grenade, walk out, and it blows up and cancels the cutscene animation for you and kills it. Yeah. Nice. There is a lot of weird things with cutscene cancels in this game, with mainly with fire grenades and grenades. So where, like, they'll be like, here, you want to see this? You can try to time a grenade, pipe bomb, or something to uh, cancel that, and you can just move on quicker. Yeah. If you want to see a lot of that, you can vote for Ada during this shooting gear. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> please, please god no not ada <laughs> no folk do ada please i would like to do something please no i don't don't worry i've been saying we got money so it'll be okay oh, oh no <laughs> i save up the painful ones mm. and if i ever do a voting one i expect to save from everyone else <laughs> you know what? that's fair but it is the most is the dumbest one. Please do it. It, it is this really dumb. This section right here. This section right here. They can't go like past this section until they kill everything. With the power of the grenade launcher, you should be able to do it in one to two shots, preferably one. Oh, you can. I, I really <laughs> love the getting launcher. blown up every time. Right there, it's such a pleasure. Do you just not kill him first. Uh, no, no. Okay, I usually kill him just to make sure I don't get annihilated by him. Sorry, Tally, I got I got blown up. Uh, now the section Tally is doing, you can throw some grenades here, like in a I got it. one area. I think I got it. But, yeah, and you can skip of uh, um, you can skip trying to shoot them when you get down there and skip straight to the sequence. Yeah, you did. Excellent. Uh, and now by the way, uh, switch... <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Now, if you are Chris, Pierce is able to run sooner. If you are Chris, you can switch to the first aid spray in a few sections where you can just continuously run. Like, you can actually run a bit faster. There's another section, which I wish I remember to mention it to you. In the first, uh, like, one of the co-op doors, like, the very beginning of this chapter, where you, uh, the first one where you auto-aim auto the enemy, if you mm -hmm. have the first aid spray, you just dab. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I've been seeing My that, and I never thing. really knew how that worked, so now I finally you, know how you to can, make that By happen. the way, you can also do it when you jump down to shoot that last guy y'all did. Uh, you can also do it there. The last, <laughs> like Beyonce. <laughs> Just pull a funky move. I've seen you do that, and I was like, how do you do that? The voting options, 
Voting options for SGDQ are playing Jake Campaign and Co-op. It's New Game Plus. They're both New Game uh, Plus Co-op Amateur. And then you get Ada. Ada is designed to be a solo campaign. Mm -hmm. So if you want some stupid memes, please choose the one that's supposed to be solo. <laughs> or I mean, Jake just... is full of memes, but I think entirely different there types of memes. Choices there. Yeah, uh, I, it's I, the most R enemy RNG based one of all of them. I yeah. promote Shake 100%. over Nunk. <laughs> It sounds like you're, uh, like, yeah. horribly slurring knuckles to me every time you say that. Oh, <laughs> no, no. And, uh, in, because I don't, so, not hunk is either nunk or honk, and I don't know if we need honk, honk to become a meme again. <laughs> no, you need to call him Hank. <laughs> Hank, I do like Hank. Hank East. Hank East, oh my god. <laughs> Well, it, it, Dead Rising is is a Capcom game, so I mean, I'm not that far off. And it's also right after our, our run at SGDQ, so that's a great meme. Yeah. Oh, what? How? One of my favorite dumb things, if you're playing Chris here, because Pierce takes a minute, but if you're playing Chris mm -hmm. and you decide to run where that truck oh. marches through, uh, Chris can basically just get killed. Oh, like, okay. he just auto-dies. It's good. It looks really glitchy, and I love it. Sorry, I was checking my honk. health. The the chat is having this this be whether it's honk or Hank. <laughs> <laughs> I like I like Hank only the I real debate. Honk, because I, I believe honk was supposed to be called, translated as Hank. Probably enough. Yeah, so I'm not sure we actually need dog. to do damage to him right here. Uh, if technically, if you really want to, and some of it is oddly connection based. You really can't do a, a lot of damage to him, and it just skips this. Oh. It's really hard to trigger. A lot of it's sadly connection-based. Like, it's mainly more on really dodgy connection. Mm hmm So it's something where I'm like, uh, no, let's not do that. Okay. <laughs> There's a few instances where the, uh, the dodgy connection will do that and skip fights. You, uh, when I was running with one of my co-op partners, Zach, you can basically, um... We end up skipping with the first use knock fight every time for some reason. It's good fun. Don't know what causes it, but it's usually a weird connection with the server. Yeah, I've noticed that some some like depending on who you connect with, you can get a very different uh, experience in this. Yeah, one Which of my fun. other favorite ones. By the way, I'm shocked you do that. It's faster to use AK or rifle with that. Yeah, I just realized. Uh, yeah, I was supposed to switch to my rifle, and I realized I forgot to try to set up my rifle. The skill grenade set, launcher so that's why I didn't. is. Yeah, <laughs> grenade launcher isn't always best. So if you're able to hit a crit point, you're better off trying to hit the crit point usually, yeah. especially with the Orga Man. Yeah. Yeah, that Which was my bad for getting my uh, sniper skill set. That Otherwise, I would have gone for it. So yeah, it ain't the we're world. we're coming up to probably one of the most notorious parts of this game, um, which is Ogre Man. Um, in like I want to say another two subsections, and we're gonna attempt to skip. Yes. Yeah, we're gonna attempt to skip that may or may not work first try, and if it doesn't work first try, we're gonna have Solus explain what was supposed to happen appropriately and the, why it happens. The torrent skip. <laughs> The torrent skip is beautiful. It's worse to do with Jake than Chris. It's actually pretty consistent with Chris. But we'll see. Oh, they say. Yeah, so so we've they, been told. <laughs> I get it a lot more often than I do. I think the, when I was doing um, solo Jake, I think it took me like two to three hours to get past one four. But that was cool. Co-op's a lot more, also more consistent in both Chris and Jake for getting it. Yeah. Oh, we're also about to be introduced to Tally and I's most least favorite character in this entire game. His name's Finn. Are you about All my homies no, it's hate Yosuke Finn. From, no, it's Yosuke from P4. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's Peter Parker. Don't judge him. Right. Come on, Finn. Come on, buddy. Come on. The door. Come on. Wait, did, did we get everyone? Yeah, yeah we yeah. got everyone. What are you doing, the, Finn? The thing, it, he has to finish his animation of looking at the stupid ATV. I and then you have to have everything so dead. You have to have everything dead, and then Pierce or Chris has to come and caress the door. Yep. All in that order. <laughs> uh, also, another another weird soft one that can happen here. 
Uh, so d again, depending on connection, if you accidentally skip that weird uh, Orga Man fight you had earlier, if you skip it, sometimes the game will not have the other player jump be able to jump down here, and oh. it soft blocks you because it will not continue until both players. Interesting. Jump down. Okay, this game is full of quirks. It's a great game. Uh, Unironically very worry. fun. Do play it, but do play co-op if you do. Yeah, I recommend co-op. I usually run solo because I don't have too many people doing co-op. I'm hopefully eventually I'll be able to do more uh, co-op with Cosmic and stuff, so that'll be fun. Yeah, this is another part where we're basically just waiting. You can see there's like this circle here above Ben. We need to wait for that to be filled. Uh, planning some explosives. So. Yeah, there's no way to speed up, just make sure. Uh, yeah. Usually in solo and co-op, if you really want to go super sweaty memes, you can continue to go into dying here. If you really want to. Finn, I don't believe that you're going as fast as you think you're saying. <laughs> It, like you think you are because every time you say that and then it's still another two minutes before you're done it's it's basically um it's a, a lot of his little quotes are mainly there to, as a check mark where he's at yeah i, I hate Which, him so much <laughs> also be wary if you are close to finn and you fire the grenade launcher towards you he will actually mistake it as enemy fire and stop what he's doing oh lovely that's in there and the torrent section so please be wary when blowing yourself up if you want to da manip which is a core part of a lot of the campaign, especially if you're doing solo. I, I will or say, I, I got so mad at Finn at one point that I just kept shooting him out of his animation to deal with the bomb because he he screwed us over for Ogre Man Skip. Like, notoriously. Oh yeah, he, he can't stun. Yeah, Finn is, Finn is notorious to ruin our runs. Yep. Now, uh, if you want to do Jake, oh, God, I'm sorry. I, Go ahead. I'll ask a quick question because it's been mentioned, and I you may have explained it, but mm -hmm. I'm going to pretend like I've never heard of it before. What's a DA? Solus is one for you. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what it is. My brain forgets <laughs> the what the acronym means. It's I know it's, I think it's difficulty adjustment or something. It's difficulty something. I forget yeah. the A means every time. Forget I think it me. is adjustment, but. It's, it's adjustments or something of that sort, but basically this is present since 4, and all the newer games are really notorious for it as well in terms of uh, manipulation. Basically, it goes higher or lower depending what difficulty you want. There's a certain what? limit. You need well, to back you up. You can't be too close. Not cl oh, is it? Pierce, you need to oh. get closer, Pierce. I there. thought it was further away. <laughs> yeah, I had to be in that area. <laughs> I misremembered. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Go on. Yeah, but uh, basically, it'll make it to where the game will be harder in terms of ammo drops, in addition to uh, what, how much damage you take and uh, outputs. If you want, the best way to lower your DA is to go into dying nonstop. If you go into dying state, it'll drop it significantly. Now, dying, actually straight up dying, will lower it the most, but that's time waste. Yep. You don't want that. We're about to try a swaggy strat here, by the way. Which I is believe in you. Right. You need to get run over by the thing. Yeah, there's a, you can skip this by uh, chucking grenade as Chris. But that's what DA is, is basically trying to manip the difficulty so where you can do more damage, on, especially on bosses where you really want it. An amateur has like 0 to 2,900 or something like that. 2,999. You want it at, um... I think tier one, which is zero to nine hundred ninety nine. It's like very nice. stuff. Good job. Please be careful running too close. Okay, cool. You're good. Yeah. yeah. So, so, <laughs> so, 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 what Tally's normally supposed to do? Uh, well, so what Tally normally ends up doing is she's the one that is supposed to hit the the tank to ex uh, sorry hit the fuel truck behind the tank to explode it. But we do, uh, I think it's swaggy, uh, but uh, instead, uh, one of us, so me, I'll throw a grenade, see if that works, and if that doesn't work, the tank has moved forward enough for Tally to be able to take the sniper shot. Yeah, yeah, because the sniper shot is the intended way to do that, but you can do it with a grenade, which is faster. You can also do it with grenade launchers, a little bit more finicky to hit. Mm. You can do it with a grenade launcher as well. Yeah, I appreciate Grenade's the a little arc. bit more consistent. Yeah. yeah, I like the arc of the hand grenade because the arc for the uh, grenade launcher is a little bit too far for me to feel com comfy with that yet. 
Uh, oh, my mind's in the gutter. Anyway. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's, I find it easier to do it with the grenade personally, but you can do it, it is fast technically do it with a grenade launcher if you're able to do the aim. It's not the, it's only like a few, like, maybe like a second or two. It's not the end of the world if you miss it or do either or. Now, the big issue is if you, the tank, the whole section in the back, if it's in the middle of exploding, and it takes a second, but if you run too, like, forward when everything's done exploding, the hip, the heart box for it still registers, and if you're too close to the tank as it's blowing up, you die. Memes, you oh, gotta love them. Sound like a fun time. Yeah. Oh, speaking of, do we get to see our buddy yet? No, not yet. Uh, he's already passed. Oh, he are, oh, dang it. Yeah, that's when so, we run over the bridge. <laughs> so sometimes, actually, so when you run oh, over the bridge, killing. you can see normally in the background, you'll be able to see one of the ogre men being carried over there. Yeah, who's flies all the way yeah, over there. It's right him. here. It's, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm very upset. Yeah, he because he's all curled up and vibing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where are the zombies? Zombies are generally Leon and part of Ada's campaign. Yeah. Uh, these, these are Jawaba, which are the new, like, how to put it, new RE5 Mutation 2.0. Yeah. Now, the funny thing is what Texan and Tally are doing, you don't have to kill anything here. No. You can just go to the back, hop on your phone, and just vibe, which is usually what I do. <laughs> or you can, uh, again, do some DEA manipulation if you so desire. Here's oh, it's here. more to keep busy, really, while waiting for Finn. Let's yeah. see, where is he? Wait, we can dance. Right do you want to dance? Now with, the um, what we was it? New Game Plus doesn't matter. No, New Game is a lot, or especially No Hope, you're better off just trying to hide and not get killed yeah or waste your ammo and resources there he comes any oh. boy oh lord here coming <laughs> this is not cod this is clear of gears of war to the absolute team okay, come on finn come on we need to cut off the reinforcements Want you to not agree. The yes, sir. Yeah, the game has a few sections like this where you're basically just forced to wait. Uh, I guess glorified auto scrollers is really what this is. We dancing. We dancing. Dancing. <laughs> and sometimes when we need to just stand still, we just like to like tap our aim button and it looks like we're dancing. No. Jumping and jiving. Yeah, no. <laughs> no hope was a difficulty. This is referring to the chat. Um, no Hope was a difficulty that was added, like, later in the game. The highest was originally professional. No Hope is, uh, fun. Uh, definitely, if you really want the worst, hardest time, you do Chris No Hope. That's where the pain truly is. Oh, god, yeah. That- that's where pain lies. It's kind of fun, actually, because I remember when this game first came out, because I- I was actually one of the few people on, like, the pre-order hype train for this game. Uh, so I got- uh, thanks to, I think it was for pre-ordering at GameStop or something, I got like one of those you license got the plates with level. it. No hope. Oh, I have that actually. It's I so cool. That. I don't know where it is, it's but only... I need it is, I think Europe got that one, because mm -hmm. Capcom does like a whole thing where each region gets its own shit. Yeah. Alright, let's see if y'all pull off the torrent skip. Okay. All right. Here's Orgo all right. Man, he's baby. Alright. We all hate him. Oh, I don't We hate this, this one in I particular. We'll take care of him for you. Right. Mine does not want to be on me. Grenade launcher generally isn't the... Yeah. Alright, all so gonna You're gonna start I have to is apparently got knocked down. Step one. <laughs> Deal with those uh, guys. Come here. Come here. Come here. Pierce Get that shape. He's wasted. Yeah, I agree. He's wasted potential. He okay. really is. Am I in? I should be good. Right. Is this a grab? Uh, is this a grab? Grab. Ooh. Oh, no. And Thanks, that was... Sherry. All right. Sherry ruined it. All right. Are we just going to kill him? Yeah, Sherry ruined it. Um, are we sure it's not a Chris call? He is a Chris call. Now, what can, can happen? Basically, um, if nothing happens and like he doesn't get knocked down like this, what you can what can happen is you either want him to do a slap, like kind of clap his hands towards you, do a slap down or a uh, falcon punch mm -hmm. towards the uh, torrent right behind you, the anti-gun torrents. The whole yeah, you see it right up there. Yeah, the destroy T of them. Yeah. Basically, you can have him slap it and destroy it, and it saves a lot of time. It's so yeah. nice. You can destroy it the, saves this entire circle that you see right here, which Finn is doing. Yeah. 
Now, how much time it saves depends on how fast uh, he wants to cooperate with you. Yeah. Or if the AI really, really wants to continue to knock him down. The issue is, the uh, mainly, is either get him to cooperate this, which is generally the issue with Chris. Sometimes Finn can knock him down, or Jake and Sherry. Jake and Sherry, thankfully, aren't the worst for doing it. Now, this dude's decided to be a meme today. I don't think Sherry's ever done that to us before. Yeah, I, I don't think Sherry's ever taken him out. Um, so... Uh, she can. What she has, like, she can do, Jake's uh, handgun also tends to knock him down more. It's usually better to have peers go and do the skip because the AI, the Jake and Sherry will follow Chris. Carriage, uh, Chris's player, more. I didn't actually know that. Yes, they follow Chris. The also, if you, you also, as you've noticed, you have another people of campaign. The whole thing with this campaign is, well, you get a lot of intersections. But if you're playing online, you can get actual real life people to play. It's really buggy on PC, don't recommend. Um, also, don't do it on speedrun anyway. It's not allowed. Yeah. But the thing is, you get to babysit AI. Now, the thing is, you also do the section with Jake and Sherry in Chapter 1, 1 4. My favorite section ever. I spend hours there every time I do Jake. Um, the thing is, Chris and Pierce will get stuck on Finn, and their AIs are very aggressive, and they have uh, beautiful, beautiful weapons that will generally knock down Orgo Man. Now you know the pain. Of being, and he'll get knocked knocked out a lot. Yep. And that's the fun of this. All right. Hi, Jake. That's a <laughs> hi, Juke Mahler. <laughs> I always call him Juke Mahler. And I plus, like it. It, it seemed like we weren't gonna get it anyways because he went for the grab instead of the slap. Yeah. For, now for, we're doing for to... Ogre Man skip. Yeah, he, he was going for a grab and not a slap. So. The, thankfully, you can recover from the grab one, so that's not the end of the world. But yeah, you mainly want the slap. I prefer the uh, the smackdown. Mm -hmm. The punch is a little bit mm. weird to register properly. Yeah, and the, the clap box. is. I prefer, oh. yeah, the hitbox is a little, it's very janky. You can do it with yeah. the first one and the third one. Like I was telling Tally and uh, Texan earlier, it's actually slower at 120 FPS to do the third torrent. Uh, at 60, it's faster to actually destroy the third turn with him, so... Come on. Yeah, we got three of waiting. these turrets done and we need to take out. This is the second one right there. Uh, so we need to do this again a third time after this. Yeah, I want to say there was like, a lot of waiting glorified autoschoolers. Yeah, the other turrets over there. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, Lisa, okay. in my opinion. Uh, Alright, four onwards really wasn't quote unquote a horror game in terms of RE it definitely went more towards the action bar which I like action yeah but okay. that's one of the RE things that I personally like game. about RE6 as well because like all the different campaigns have a different feel like if you do want a little bit more of a horror feel play Leon's uh, like Leon's still my favorite campaign casually not in the speedrun uh, because it has a really good ambience which we means for the speedrun a lot of forced slowdowns uh, <laughs> and frustration uh, it's mainly in chapter one, the other yeah. ones you can actually speed along. It's not. It's yeah, no, it's the start. It's it's eight minutes, which is funny. You spend more time in rep two doing walk and talking sections throughout than you do in the entire first section of uh, RE six oh, wow. or RE six chapter one. Leon, it's quite funny. Um, Thank you. Y'all, y'all notice that um, I am currently sitting in a menu right now. I'm waiting for a checkpoint to pop up so that I can restart the checkpoint and tra teleport everyone over to where Tally's about to be. Yeah, I'm almost Mainly there. Mainly, you want Finn over there. You yeah. are Finny boy. Done. To be over there. Now, unlike five, you could actually do it right when the checkpoint pops up. You don't have to wait for it to vanish. I think Tex is just paranoid about hitting it too early. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait, I'm so paranoid about it. All right. Okay. Me in the corner. I would Tex. I would give you an absolute heart attack if I ever played with you. <laughs> uh, I am a nervous, uh, nervous Nelson when it comes to this game, specifically Chris's campaign, because oh. boy howdy. Yeah. Now we distance. already got like, him this there. Me in the distance. I, would it be a bunch of risk? Yeah, let's do it anyway. <laughs> do it for the content, baby. Yeah, I'm now just basically I just time. babysit uh, Finn. Well, uh, you can see if you look on Texas side, it'll be fighting Ogreman over there. 
Yeah. yeah. I so I so what I did is he fell down. I pulled out his nub, and now I'm gonna aim for his weak point. That. And hopefully I kill him before Finn is done his stuff. No, uh, he's about halfway. No, he's dead. Nice. Capcom did think for uh, mainly they did it because co-op usually sells pretty well. RE5 did phenomenal in terms of sales. Yeah. Yeah. Boop boop. Alright. And a lot of people were requesting more action, so there you go. Is... Now we killed him. You want by the way, you want the uh, Orgo man over there to either have his little bulb out uh, either before Finn triggers this so you can actually either have him be killed by the uh, airplane guns or preferably you want him dead before Finn gets this off. Yeah. So you can skip cutscenes and speed along. If not, it'll linger on until you actually do pull out the little thing for him. Yeah. Yeah, because if Orgo man was still alive now, we would have to be like, oh yeah, no, we still can't come back and, you know, you need to get a weak point so we can kill him. And now we're just yeah, waiting. Yeah, the weak point out. Shortly. Yeah, if you have the weak point out, it'll just um, basically just do a cutscene of um, him being missiled. Yeah. And now here's my favorite part, where we no longer have to deal with Finn. I hope, I hope no one liked Finn. He's about to die. And we don't see the cutscene. He just dies. Strong. He's my favorite character. <laughs> yeah. Please don't tell me he dies. Uh, so sorry. <laughs> he dies. It'll be fine. R6, uh, notice. Yeah, the assault rifle is really good in this game. Assault yeah. rifle and shotgun are really okay, broken, yeah. actually. Uh, Magnum's pretty bottom. broken, which you won't see this that much in Chris, but you can recoil cancel. Why are y'all going this way? Hmm? Wait, is this oh, not the just, It's just oh. the way we go. No, oh I remember gosh. now. It's the right way. <laughs> I, now that you mentioned it, I unlocked my core memory. Like, no, it's supposed to be here, because then Finn runs faster. <laughs> Thank you for unlocking that core memory. I was like, I knew there was something. Tally, you're right. supposed you're, you're to have the brain cell with the route. And now it's soulless. You're, think, Fair, you're thinking. You're thinking of later. Me. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Yeah, when we have when we need Ada to climb up. Sorry, yeah. not Ada. To, Ada. Ada wrong is what Ada we wrong. like to call her because it's, it's not actually name. Ada. It's Carla. Not Ada. Spoilers. Anything but my lover. But, um, yeah. Uh, not yet. Not yet. Uh, I was about to mention. Oh, yeah. Uh, the thing is, you, which you don't see too much in Chris's campaign, which I was asking them earlier. A lot of the weapons have recoil. You'll see it, like, One with Pierce's AMR or, like, the Magnum. You can weapon switch or side switch to cancel the recoil, and you can literally make anything a rapid fire weapon. Mm -hmm. You can damage. He takes damage during his getting out cocoon section. Oh, does it? Oh, shoot. Yes. Good to know. But, uh, Basically, you can destroy the cocoons here with if you do enough damage. Because <laughs> what this part is is killing all three of the napads, the dudes coming out of the cocoons. That one always hatches. The other two, you can actually destroy the cocoons Search before the they hatch. The mm -hmm. Yeah, it makes this go Let's faster. We'll do that in a couple spots. There's another segment too where we'll kill the cocoons before they hatch, so we don't have to deal with them. Come on, Finn. He it, it takes. I know he does. He I sure complain does. every time about him. There's worse things. There's Natalia from Rev 2. Alright, I'm gonna kill everyone in this room now. Yep, yep. Yeah, it's just... I assume y'all never killed the guy right next to you when you opened that door and you're sitting there going, why is Finn not coming? <laughs> I've seen people do that a lot and I'm like, okay. I, yeah, I, I forget that there's three dudes in here that we have to deal with and so he the dude near the door normally gets killed last because i yeah move. yeah um, i have yeah. to grab the green water. herb that's in here real Come quick okay whoa, whoa whoa okay it, the uh my live part started stuttering there for a second i was like okay <laughs> let's uh Aiden. i was like oh are we about to crash uh, if you have attack reaction on, which by the way, apparently, according to my boyfriend, y'all do have attack reaction on. We do? Okay. I thought I turned um, it off. Yes. Apparently not. I was gonna let y'all find out the hard way, but I'll be nice to y'all. I, I don't think it. I don't think <laughs> I've ever seen it nice. make a distance, make a difference. <laughs> uh, it, it's actually there's a few areas where it can make a difference, actually, hard especially hard. in Leon and Jake's campaign. Especially if you want to make sure. Uh, that he could also be destroyed while he's coming out. 
Yeah, I'm just Especially I'm scared of missing. <laughs> what? What? Yeah, I, <laughs> be, yeah be, be, I had to reload. I had to reload. That's all. That's, okay. all. That's all good. It's all good. Everything's fine. Usually, this is also one of the sections I recommend either switching to your more powerful one or one with Shooting Wild. I generally recommend Shooting Wild, though. Okay. Yeah. It's good to know. Hi, Reggie. Because if you actually have lower DA and with the Shooting Wild set up, you can actually destroy them using one shot. Oh. All amateur. Yeah. But Shooting Wild is super broken. It really is. It is busted. I remember having to tell Salad, I'm like, why don't you just all campaign new game do shit a lot? I said, what does it do? And I'm like, oh. we're almost out. God tier. <laughs> it's really expensive, but it's God tier. Yep. It's totally worth it. There's everything but rifles, actually. You said Oak Tally, and I was like, oh no, what? Am I going the wrong way? <laughs> I got stuck in a box. <laughs> Classic right, Resident Evil experience. All right, bye, Finn. Sorry. <laughs> We're not going to wow. see him again. 64 on Chris Redfield. We'd love that. <laughs> noise, noise. Oh, oh, by the way, I, I, I have our, our splits up by chapter right now. And we're, uh, we're 37 seconds ahead of people. Oh, <laughs> which means we're ahead of world record because we have, we are the world record holders in this category. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. All right. Tell you <laughs> Don't worry, karma's gonna come in real quick, I'm sure. Oh yeah, so yeah, we fair. we are we're now in chapter three, which is where we deal with yawn 2.0 and possible disconnects and or crashes. Yep. Three is which from what I can tell with the quality currently, it might have it. At least on my end. We're we're used to yeah, it at this point. I've seen some desyncs. <laughs> my end. Yeah, same. Same. I'm a little worried, which means we might have to. Well, well. Oh, do you want to do the slide tally? Do we have time? Uh, I mean, I guess. Do I wasn't planning PB on it, but no. I, I mean, I don't care about PB. I just. <laughs> Texas like we already have world record. Let's waste the time. All right. We yeah. Uh, what Let's plus? We'll be underestimated. It's fine. Yay! <laughs> All right. Are you on the panda? I made sure to be on the panda. There you <laughs> so go. serious Excellent. about it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay. we can keep going. Serious panda riding, don't judge him. I'm so jealous because Chris is the only character that can go on the panda. One. All the other characters can go yeah. on the slide. Or even Chris can go on the slide. But Chris is the only one that can do the panda. And I, I want to ride the Which panda man. The eat. only other character that gets past this is Ada, by the way. Yeah. Everyone else, you don't run into this section. Yeah, but Ada can also go on the slide. The, the only one who can't is poor Agent. She, I love her slide because she's the <laughs> most stoic face. Just regular slide, and I'm like, I. Right. He's having a time of her life. Oh yeah, I don't know if anyone's noticed, but every so often I will um, like pause on doorways to make sure that myself or Tally is the first one in there before moving forward, uh, so that we don't get stuck on each other. Which yeah, because that can I happen. Think Chris has Chris has the most doors where that's an issue with, and it's kind of funny. It's because yeah. he's got them boulders for shoulders. <laughs> it is. <laughs> he he ate a fridge for breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> After after RE five, he was like, "No, no, no! I will become the boulder." Well, the funny thing is, in nope. six, I think he's actually not as bulky. Yeah, he is. Five. Oh, he really sorry. is. He actually is. But I like the meme because anyway. The funny thing is, with Chris in this game, he basically became an alcoholic because <laughs> he got amnesia, and then, and like, and then one day later, Pierce right, finds him in a bar, like. Yo, homie, we're gonna bring you back next day. All right, time to go to war. <laughs> After not being active for six months, and I'm like, that's I really whiffed good. all of my shots. I whiffed one because I was gonna try and show off the like the swift quick swap, but then I forgot that like the aim goes all sorts of wonky on the grenade launcher. Grenade when you're there. launcher, you shoot too your grenade launcher, you're better side switching. Yeah, which I'm really bad at. <laughs> All right. That section is meant for you, uh, either you or Jake. You got Jake and Sherry back down there on the bottom. It's awful on, as Jake ahead. and Sherry, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Jake and Sherry yeah. is the worst. Never on their own. So vote for Jake if you want to see that at SGDQ. Now do Ada. <laughs> Ada's more memes. 
See, that's, Always your Ada. that's the conundrum with the bid war is that if we say go one way, everyone's going to go the other way. Yeah. And it's like, ah, damn it. But if we say Ada, people, we're going to have the, the, the Ada lovers in there. Mind you, I adore Ada's campaign, just not Ada's as an agent. But, uh, what's that say? Yeah, uh, yeah. With the grenade launch, it's better to side switch because of the aiming reticule going a little janky when you side switch it, or, like, weapon switch it. Now, the thing is, with that oh. previous section, they wanted you to kill all the enemies. Nice, thank you. But you can just destroy the helicopter and move on. Now, on PS4 and the Xbox One version and Switch, it has less health, so it only takes, like, eight to nine shots to kill it, compared to, like, a lot. I think it's like almost doubled. I think on this for some reason. All right, we're in this connect city now. Yeah. Oh. oh yeah. This mainly towards the end of this. Also, with that previous helicopter section, Jake and Sherry have the hardest time hitting that helicopter. Yeah. Because of where it, you, they are, it's one. Of, uh, also, switch to first aid spray. Ah oh, shit! Right. This thing show itself. So no, first no. it'll actually <laughs> Thank you, Tally. Oh, I didn't need that, but I appreciate <laughs> it. The hairspray is great. Oh. Um, you How basically want the see. first aid spray to where you, every time they auto aim, it actually will not let them auto aim with the first aid spray out for both characters. Here's. But uh, there is the beautiful risk if you're not careful on the butt prompts and paying attention for it. That's one place you can do the first aid spray and a few others here yeah it is faster it's even faster just to switch it <laughs> but oh there's yawn yeah he is quite baby but yeah you do have that lovely risk of accidentally uh, killing your partner yeah like uh, i just did you good uh yeah 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 sorry camera angles absolutely got me this time what the heck all right Oh, you got the traditional one. That one's I've, really weird. I've, I've never had that one happen to me before. Normally, I'm like slamming my face into the wall by the door by the time the cutscene happens. But we're good. Uh, we're good. Everything's fine. Everything's I, fine. Sadly, Everyone, at that cutscene, I have beautiful muscle memory that I can't get rid of, and I hate it. <laughs> Yeah, so that's one of those instances I was talking about earlier where I said I <laughs> camera angles are kind of caused some confusion. Oh, shit. I think that thing's here! Support Jack. Chris is also the worst with the forced camera angles. Have fun with that. Yeah. Coming, man. Just hang on! Here's Yanni. Marco, don't move! Be beautiful. Hold your position. Do you hear me? That's an order! You can barely see him most of the time, though, but yes. Ah, uh, Looney Tune, yes. Save up your phone for Ada. Please do it. <laughs> Please, no! <laughs> the pain! No, do it. If that's what I want. I crave it. <laughs> <laughs> I crave pain and suffering inflicted yes. on others. Of course, my favorite. Not sadistic. I'm, about, I'm going to force Cosmo to finish the new game plus. I have to make sure. <laughs> you know that's true. My reputation. All right, all right, all right. All right, disconnection. Nope. This section. This uh, part usually secret. goes well. I was make oh sure come you. on. <laughs> My dude. Uh, that, yeah, it's going to be slower. Basically, yeah. what you want to do here in the first section is just run to that vent and crawl through it. Oh, my God. That's all. Ah! You, you, that's what you want to do immediately. It's yeah. just run through the vent. And crawl oh, no. He's going to get me in there. Yeah. Okay. It's going to yeah, be great. You, you triggered this. Yeah, you triggered the next section, so he's going to trigger in there. Yeah. Pardon me while I struggle getting into this vent. I was trying to I was trying to do swaggy strats, which is being able to uh, you could slide through and then yeah. like spin around to get into this backward animation. Are you good over there, by the way, Tally? Do you yeah. need me to? No, she. It's just the QTE. Okay, yeah, it's perfect. just the one that always happens, especially it's now like... since we triggered like properly. Uh, Got the checkpoint. Where is it's he? It's homeboy close by. There he is. The other guy. Yeah, usually checkpoint just activated list with him. Oh, there it is. Now, the funny thing is, either if you, you can, either, the best way to kill him is either for a grenade launcher, his mouth, or if you want to be safer, you get the shooting wild set up with the shotgun and shoot when his mouth opens. Either or is fine. I I prefer grenade launcher. Sir, yeah. get out of my face. All right, come on. Is he landing up? Wait, is this nope. this mixing? No. Yeah. 
the disconnection, this area is where it disconnects the most. Yeah. So what's probably going to happen is that once this guy lines up and he gets bitten and we save him, we're probably going to disconnect. Yeah, disconnects about here. Me and Deagle actually disconnected here. All right. Do not shoot him. Do not shoot him. Yon's got it. Yum, 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 yum. You'll you'll mostly notice if the cutscene is a play. There we go. We got it. We got it. Are we are we safe? Did we get yes. the piece? Yes. You're fine. If it's oh, thank gosh. There's a cutscene place and you're good. Okay, perfect. Yeah, if, if one person doesn't get it, that's usually the issue. Yeah. Yeah, because what uh, happens usually thing. is that one person will be stuck in loading. Got it. Got it. Good to know that, that we that, did not DC. Perfect. Oh, there are more that chances for it to happen, later. so. Oh, oh yeah. But don't put that now, on us. The and now he goes into the is, wall for me because it's desync. <laughs> yeah, desync is cool. Now, there's two ways to do this. It's much easier to do at 60, but you can't actually, when he opens his mouth towards you, I don't recommend doing it at 120. I've tried doing it at 120, it's really hard. Yeah, he is he, not either, cooperating. Are you around the corner? You either. Yeah, I got him. I say you either electrocute him or, or when he opens his mouth, you can shoot him again. It's better here. It's actually better with the shotgun, generally, if I remember correctly. You yeah, actually I, shoot him in the mouth. It just auto end it. I usually just shoot with the grenade launcher because, as you can see, it's kind of glitchy for me, so it's, it's easier for me to hit. Um, yeah, Jan is not being cooperative right now. There you okay. go. I got him. There you go. But it is a damage output as well. It's one of those where it's a lot better to do in co-op. Trying to do this in solo at 120 is pain. It is doable, but pain. Yep. All right, it's okay. We have Marco here. Though. He's our friend. He's going to stay with us to the end, right? Well, yes. Yes, he is. <laughs> One grenades for a start. Yeah. Thank you, Marco. Appreciate you. You're a correct tally. He's going to be with us to the very end. Yeah. By uh, Chris and RE5 and 6 and Revelations 1 is Roger Craig Smith, so you got Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> 7 and 8 uh, have different actors. Uh, okay, how many shots is it going to take us to whiff this thing? Um, do y'all oh. just not do. I usually flash try to. Do... Acid round? I usually do, but then uh, Hex messed up my timing for it, so I was like, well, fine, I'm not going to go for it then. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know I messed up timing. <laughs> yeah, it's go. better to flash grenade. You can either wait, flash grenade. Uh, acid does insta-kill it, or if you really want to, you, you can actually uh, do the AK loadout, and you can also kill it that way. Oh, okay, that's fun. I'm so sorry, Tally. I didn't realize we had a specific setup <laughs> no, I, for the I fly. I wasn't going for it now, but that's because we, we always miss it in like, our PB attempts and whatever, so I was like, yeah, I'm not even going to go for it anymore. <laughs> I was going to say... Yeah, Chris is Roger Craig Smith in this game. Um, it's he's Sonic. But uh, yeah. Um, Usually in co-op, you're better off one person trying to throw the flash grenade at a decent distance where you the other person doesn't get flash mm -hmm. and just firing the grenade launcher at him, the other guy. Oop. Solo, you can either wait for the bug. Basically, that bug you have to wait for his little larvae form to appear. You can't shoot it when it's the bunch of flies. Yeah. Don't you can't really damage it. You can't technically. You can also slide into it to try and trigger it. Oh, I didn't know you yeah. could do that. You oh, can. You it's you can. Uh, I don't recommend on higher difficulties because the fly like grab will oh, actually. Yeah. Annihilate your health. Yeah, yeah. Annihilate you. We're we're in a we're in another section now where it's likely to crash. This is this one is super common. Also, really common at uh, Lord and Savior 120 for a, a beautiful section to kill you pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. Can't wait for that to happen. Um, this section uh, is the reason why I've yet to complete a solo all campaigns run because I was six and a half hours into an all campaigns run when the game crashed here. And I said, and I'm done with Resident Evil 6. <laughs> At least until Tally was like, hey, you want to do co-op? <laughs> yep. Roped him right back in. That's a game I love to hate. It's a fun game, though. Mm -hmm. Way better with with as co-op. Oh yeah, for sure. There's for a sure. lot of snipers aiming at us Flying right now. No... I don't know whether it's more more not more Sonic theme mods. Probably a little bit too weird to try and mod it in. Capcom games I've heard are really weird to mod in stuff sometimes, mm -hmm. like from other things. 
Look, the helo. All right, this is a section where either they'll die from the frame rate or the game crashing. Chase, yep. choose your poison. Yep. Think I usually it. die from frame rates. Which one do you think it will be? Frame this, rate is where we're dead most too. I was gonna say this usually the stupid thing has rubber band to a degree. Yeah. Good, good fun. They're all winners, Uwu. They're, everyone's a winner. Are you winning? Son? But I had to. But I had to make sure to T post for dominance. <laughs> That's the true form. My true form is dominance T post and nothing else. I'm here for it. Especially if I decide to be really petty. Uh, are you good back there? This is. Yeah, yeah I'm right on you. Okay, okay. This is the section. If you're not careful with the enemy spawns, you should be hunky dory. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Yeah, we're yeah, good. We're good. Oof. Yep. No memes. I didn't see the caption. Yeah, you're fine, dude. It happens. How dare you not? Absolutely knows everything in a five mile radius. <laughs> oh, I'm good sorry job, for laughing. <laughs> yeah. Four, five, and six are really beautiful. Actually, in Rev 2, Revelation is really good. No, no, we're oh. gonna make fun of you. I do the same thing sometimes, but I'm gonna make fun of you anyway. Oh, yeah, no, I, I do it so it. many times too. I, I, got hit, <laughs> I got hit by an enemy that I had to blow up right in front of my face, that's all. He loves you. I'm Don't gonna need him. him to stop. <laughs> no. Can't deny his love. Exactly. But, uh,. That's that. Oh, now uh -oh. we get Ada. Copy that. Wait. A yes. lot of the boss. I'm actually yeah, I'm not seeing a lot of shooting wild. So <laughs> right, you got them? No shooting wild gets yeah, ready to kill entirely. Dang. Oop, there we go. <laughs> oh my god, I no still one. About to... Oh there was yeah, he still lingers one. in the back. Damn. Yeah, he lingers in the back. I it did what happens. I could. Yeah. No, no, that was that was good. Blow you, you up. <laughs> yeah. You want the majority of them. Yeah. Yeah, Revelations 1's really good. I like Revelations 1 a lot. Definitely one of my oh, favorites. Anyway, here's a comp section with Leon and uh, not Claire. No, <laughs> my favorite. Or my other favorite, Laura Bailey. Right, that Helena who refuses to now. elaborate further at every chance. Sorry, Tally. Oh, where's my shotgun there? What about the mullet? The mullet will save us. If you're Chris, now the thing is with co-op, uh, generally, I probably, probably remember the nice. I actually think of it. Now there's a thing that can happen here with co-op desync, which is actually really good. Um, it has to be host running first, if I'm remembering correctly. I had to look at Monica Cosmic's run again. My brain is going to a blank right now. Uh, but for some reason, uh, that what Carla cutscene that this? shows up. Will not play for the other person, they can just run to the very end. Oh, it's that the trigger store. side. It's, it's usually a bit of desync. Now, sometimes it won't always work, but it's generally what will help kind of encourage it, if my memory is correct. Because mm -hmm. you basically want the co the person that is uh, your co op partner not hosting to go mm -hmm. first. I like Helena, and it's Helena, no, how to put it. Helena is a character I really, really want to like, and then they did nothing with her. Yeah, yeah I, she has all the vibes of a strong woman that's really cool, and I really like her tall oaks outfit and stuff. And then they're like, okay, after chapter, chapter two, she's just a wet blanket. Yep. There for. Literally, five. she's literally there to be like, we have to do a thing, and then she refuses to explain it further. Also, interesting fact this is the Roomba room. You gotta protect yourself. Uh, this is also one of the. Uh, intersection rooms. Ah, uh, you make a hit, Tally. Sorry, sorry. Oh, it's okay. I finished a QT. Oh my god, and again? I know, yeah. Oh, okay. The, yeah, you have, he has the cutscene. Technically, you skip the cutscene by getting hit by that at a certain point. Yeah. So that's cool. That's yeah, actually good I'm timing on that trying one. to reload, yeah. and I'm just gonna... I'll just take the hits. It's fine. It's you, fine. Today's the day. Are you using the AK? Yeah. Good, good. But, uh, th I was saying... Yeah, intersection here, you got, you're got you facing against Leon. Leon and Helena have to wait for Hanukin to tell him what to do. Chris, with Chris, you can just go ahead and go on your merry way and do it. So, a lot better, a lot more convenient. We have we have won the Roomba room. You basically want to rent, win the race on both of them. You're racing to get to the elevator and this. You want to win both of them because it's faster. Yep. Because otherwise, you get the slow path round. Yes. 
uh, the first room, you just have to walk up the stairs, uh, which is slower. And this section, you have to stay in a little bit longer with the Roombas being like, yo, I'm actually a bob and I'm ready to blow up. Mm -hmm. Roomba Vengeance, yeah. Oh, you didn't do a slide? Uh, no, I, I was trying to. Do. Do. <laughs> yeah, same. I, th I think you did it. You probably pressed it right. Yeah, I think I was trigger. right. Yeah. yeah. And then Chris ran first and got the cutscene, so I can keep running. Yeah, that's a normal thing in this game, but for both sides. But yeah, you can also slide to cancel a lot of like wild animations. A lot of, lot of animation cancels in this. Yeah, yeah. there's a, like, quite a few stuns that you can avoid in Ida's campaign. Double cancel. Leon has, Leon and Ada probably have the most. Mm -hmm. Ada solo is probably the most technical out of all of them. Jake is mm -hmm. the most RNG enemy base. And you got driving memes. Have fun, Pierce. <laughs> Thanks. I hate this section. It's, it's something. Yeah, this section's called the bathroom break. <laughs> for you, at least. Yeah, not for me. Yeah, I, yeah and then we swap off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, with this whole thing... You basically just want to keep up with her. If you get too far away, you'll it'll just it's a game over. Also, your health, you got to pay attention to that too. Now, if I'm remembering correctly, because I know this works with the helicopter and the plane, you do regain health if you decide to checkpoint reset. Not the biggest issue on Amateur. Great for no hope, however, because everything will uh, damage you if you breathe on it. Yeah. Or if it breathes on you. If you look at it funny. So you just stare and the game's just, like dead. And I'm amateur, that's not really something we need to worry about the health bar. Um, uh, unless you're doing DA manip, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, if you're doing DA manip, oh. yeah. You know, I made that I made that joke about running to the restroom, and I'm probably going to do that, so. <laughs> yeah. I'll be in Go the middle it. of a marathon situation. I'm so sorry. <laughs> taking this very seriously. I'll be, I, 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 I am. I am. I'm you keeping actually... to PB pace. Okay, this is what we norm. This is what normally happens. <laughs> That's putting the P in PB pace. Let's go. <laughs> I should just do it quickly because yeah. uh, that one section coming up. No, yeah, it's yeah, fine. I should be. I should be good. Do. Yeah, we'll hold out. There is a section where Chris is will be faster because of the gun. He's had, he Chris has a gun on top. You sh you're supposed to shoot the cars. Yeah, amateur doesn't matter. A little bit better on no hope, obviously, because uh, you don't want to die. Same with the helicopter for Ada, but the thing is with Ada, you can just checkpoint, restart, get your health and missiles back. Again, not as useful on amateur. No hope. Do it. Spam it. Make yeah. it your baby. <laughs> Make it your sweet, sweet, lovely child. <laughs> this part reminds me of 50 Cent Blood. Oh god, that game. Oh man. What a, what a time to be alive when when we had a bunch of fighting games like that. One of my favorite things. I can't remember. I think I actually have gone to the bathroom before in one of my, like, World Record runs. I can't remember which one. I think it's one of the ones I had to wait and I just left the game on. I'm like, I'll be back. Came back and I'm like, okay, we're still here. I'm here. Thank you. Ah, uh, perfect. We're still alive. <laughs> All according to plan. Yep. The Cusco. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, PB stands for pee break always. Oh, yeah, I've got like half of half of chat covered up. <laughs> I'm staring at it and I'm staring at the screen, which by the way, thankfully on the Discord and has stabilized. It was straight up pixels so much at the beginning of chapter three, and I'm like, oh no, that's this get that's this get at mm. possibilities right here. Yeah, I think we're part the uh, uh, past uh, the worst part. Uh, for the disconnects, but that yeah. doesn't mean they're not gonna happen. Yeah, there's a f they're gonna still happen in chapter five. There's actually yeah. one in Leon chapter four that can also happen where you're not doing Leon. There's a few, yeah. but Chris is definitely the worst for it. There's also a soft log in chapter five, so hopefully I'll avoid that. Yeah, like I didn't even know that was a thing, and now you told me about it, so now we're gonna hit it. But that's just how it works. Exactly. <laughs> I'm so excited. So let's put turn some, off the game. some bad, bad mojo on us. Yeah, that's that's how I work. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, my boyfriend and my friends get really annoyed because any kind of like gotcha game mechanic, I get the greatest luck. So I just suck the <laughs> luck out of all of everyone around me. And I'm like, this is mine. I claim this. 
Wait, and I get to see the best part of driving. It just slows to an absolute crawl as soon as you go uphill. And now, that. the best part is, and uh, if you want to do IL runs, you're better off playing Pierce, because the AI Pierce will sit there, drive around, do an animation of hitting his fist on the steering wheel in absolute rage, oh and they God. continue to go. By the way, the slopes in the PC version are really broken because they don't go the slow on console. It's good fun. I, I'm going to be real. Every single vehicle handles the same up slopes. Snowmobiles handle the same as the cars do. It's it's not a good time. Like I said, console it runs better. I think it's another FPS theme. Basically, this game was definitely absolutely developed for console mm -hmm. and then for the PC. For and sure. it, you can tell by 120 FPS. Ooh. I thought you were about to drive straight to that bus. <laughs> I thought we were about to be put into a cutscene. No. It's going slow up. up the hills. Walking on sunshine. No, no. I, one of my favorite things that can happen. I can take a break now. Yeah. One of my favorite things about this part right, cutscene, if, if the, the <laughs> if the lag is real bad, uh, Chris will still be on the torrent, and the and the car will be being drive by an invisible person. Amazing. Chris and Pierce will be on the torrent. It's so good. <laughs> I also love that he just, like, does that. He just punches out the window. Yeah, instead of punching boulders, This is our boulder boulders, punch of we, 6 <laughs> Yeah, we, uh, we, instead of punching boulders, we're punching glass. Yeah. Now, this is the part of driving where it really matters. You can overtake, uh, Carla here. Uh, and you want to stay ahead of her, uh, to a certain point. Especially at a certain point, you want to be ahead of her because it triggers the cutscene quicker. So I don't actually need to be shooting here, but I kind of just do, so I don't have to just sit here and feel useless. <laughs> oh, I just sit here. And I eat, <laughs> go to the bathroom. I don't care. I just vibe here, depending on who I am. I want to tell you right now, whatever I do, Chris campaign, I'm actually playing as Chris. If I'm not doing the IL for this, I just sit the entire time in Pierce's section. Totally fair. I almost triggered my boost incorrectly. Yeah, oh, that happens. The wall. <laughs> done that so many times. Yeah, I, I almost boosted into the wall. Thankfully, I was able to pull into the turn pro uh, uh, properly. Yeah, because Chris has the most vehicle. Don't worry, there's another vehicle section in the next chapter. It's all good. We're <laughs> going to have more, everybody. They're all awful. Love to drive, uh, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But he also only one that actually doesn't drive a vehicle. He gets on one, and that's it. Oh yeah, the next section is the the airship. The roll roll copter. Do y'all actually use uh, Chris's guns to destroy the things? I'm I'm sorry. You can do what? Chris's guns can destroy them. We they just use pierces. The turrets okay. that yes. you target. Oh, yeah. it's actually faster to do Chris, but or technically both. I. But yeah, it's actually faster to do Chris. One, absolutely not learned. attempting this today, but two, I... I think you should. Think you should. <laughs> <laughs> do it! Ma it, ma it makes Just up, do it. Makes up do for it. the... By the way, this is where you should have technically overturned her a little earlier. You did and probably did your move so quickly. Yeah, I, hit, I think I hit actually... boost earlier. Yeah. Alright, it's chapter three done. That's what, two more? I think this My one is five, right? My least favorite chapter in the game. You got two more, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is, a, this is definitely a chapter. And yes, you should. You should do it. I believe in you. You can pull it off. I... We'll see. We'll see. It's just flying the plane is like a nightmare. What was that one message by that one guy? Troubles? Never mind. It's okay, I got you, Tally. Thank you. <laughs> so many horse cutscenes. Alpha to HQ. We're closing in on Six is better. Six and five are better co-op. I 100% recommend co-op. For sure, for like, sure. That's the way to experience both the games. Yeah. It's a lot better for both. Silent Hill World or Resident Evil World? Silent Hill World, personally, is scarier. If I want to be honest. Yeah, now, Silent Hill World seems gimmick. very, like, 
Uh, not customizable, but just like... Oh shit, Thanks, sorry. Uh, just like, you know, because the children are totally fine in Silent Hill, right? Because they're innocent and all that. Oh my god. You're, you're probably better off just... Never mind, you got mine. <laughs> He's got one of those tentacly arms, and I'm not a fan of those purely because... Uh, I got distracted because my my wake up alarm went off on my phone. So I'm just like, all oh, right, this is what I usually wake up. <laughs> That's our job. I had to turn that off. Oh, not the usual. Got it. Yeah. Yeah, it's it. it's like I'm I'm gonna die after this. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I was about to say for this. Also, this whole section is getting this bulkhead destroyed wall because um the most extreme answer uh answers are the answer and. The newer Resident Evils. So Anything basic? Nah, we wanted the Mac Daddy giant machine gun instead. Yep. So many laser sights. Yet. Pierce, you okay? Yeah, there's another place where we're split up, but we'll be making it to the same point. Just keep going. And we'll I'm gonna be slightly way. faster, so I'm basically gonna hang back and defend for a bit while Chris is making his way over. Chris, Chris got to do the uh, slow crawl maneuver. Yep. This is more risk. Well, it is a bit risky on amateur if you don't put on defense three, but it's really risky on no hope because you mm. guys, Chris, from the things. Because especially the rifles across, because he does get get staggered while going over if he loses a bar of health. I don't think and I'm getting just the straight up will die. I'll oh. Uh, I'm surprised you didn't uh try to do it before he got it off. Oh he's still there. Okay. I thought he got off. It sounded like he jumped off. I was like, wait, what? Yeah, yeah no no. I, I usually just okay. look because sometimes I get like three plus enemies coming towards me and sometimes I only get two, so I was just trying to make sure I'm like, am I just getting two or am I getting more before I actually reel this thing down? Red, original uh, Resident Evil 2 is really good, by the way. I'm not the big, biggest fan yeah, of OG Resident Evil 3. This is talking about chat, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're good. Are you good, We're continuing our mission to apprehend Wong. Oh, I, one of my favorite painful down. things is sometimes I reclimb that one first ladder. It's my favorite pain. Oh, I have done that too. It hurts every also, time. Also, if y'all want to, you can technically uh, destroy this co-op door to your uh, left right here, if you want to. Yeah, it's, done a lot, it it's a lot better. It's oh. a lot better to do for so long. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> it's it's because you're getting shot at it. Yeah, I know. Dream. It's just annoying. <laughs> but uh, what was I about to... Okay. <laughs> you could probably stop that. <laughs> Point, dude. You just, you just did that. Out of I, I, I fell down. <laughs> I accepted my fate. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, in solo, it's better off to destroy that co-op door. That's the last door you'll be going through once you kind of uh, shoot the missile to the door, because that's that. what you should do in every situation in life. But, uh, yeah, it'll basically, when you walk through, it'll trigger a cutscene, and you are not cutting a checkpoint, and you can uh, bring your AI partner over to you, which is much more convenient. Yep. All right, we remember how to deal Three with less interesting. the passcodes, right? Uh, I believe so. Yeah, I think we're fine if on that. Not, I can, if not, I can stare at you blankly. <laughs> Thank you. That helps. Uh, three. Yeah, three was definitely more of a quick buck kind of thing. Yeah, definitely felt like it should have been an add-on to two. OG, I refer to OG three, and technically probably remake. I mean, really on it. All right, now we got this set up. Uh, this is super quick to get through. It's not, it's not terrible. We just we, we run to that door that Solus was talking about. We unlock it and we uh, make our way past fighter jet and then onto the worst section of this, which is the actual plane. My, my favorite thing is on No Hope. This this thing can absolutely wreck you less than a second. And kill mm. you. I'm not a fan of this thing. Every I get knocked down every so often. You know, with, well, yeah, then, you know, with defense three, because AK will absolutely destroy your health, even on defense three. Oh, you, you, you sons go. of the guns. <laughs> One of the things you can do when you jump do like, the running jump off and roll, uh, you can technically, the button to slide, you can actually uh, do a slide at the end of it. Hold up, hold up. I have to, I have to back up real quick because I got knocked down three separate times for a oh, God knows what reason. Thing. You good, Uh You probably got hit. 
there's some. Um, well, you have like two to three machine gun Juavos. Like actual AK 12s, and you got the plane, so you probably had all of them on you. Yeah, that, I'm pretty sure that's exactly what happened. Just all no, three of them. No, that's literally what happened. Took me out. I stared at it. <laughs> Just said, nah, fam, we don't love you. Both so you're gonna have a bad time today. Of course. You either get through that section pretty smoothly, or uh, someone gets gunned down. No offense, buds. That was a RE3 remake was made by another company, you're correct. Yes. It was outsourced. Tex being bullied, that that's normal, it's okay. It's like salad being bullied. Yeah. I bully salad. I'm always bullied in this game. It sure does happen. Piers. Alright. See if we can actually remember this part. I think I do, but I always start doubting I myself. Think. I, I also thought Tally almost <laughs> oh. hit me. was like, hey, you know what, it's Oh fair. my god. I'm trying to like deal with these enemies before they come out, but I only got one of them, boys. I think. The uh, spiders. I yeah, those those I generally... Oh, hey, we didn't go through either. the bathroom you this time. I didn't. Yes. Either you, um, my brain, yeah, you can either do grenade, like two grenade launcher rounds, or if you want to, you can do the shotgun or AK for the spiders to kind of not pull yourself off. Oh boy. Yeah, this section is really bad if you don't have defense three, because it's really easy to get absolutely gunned down. I'm pretty sure I have defense three on right now, but yeah, it can absolutely oh, yeah. happen anyway. A lot of times, right. uh, one of the best things to do is if they are getting gunned down, either you can heal to uh, negate the knockback you're going to get, uh, or you can slide and hope for the best to not hopefully lose the bar. But a lot of times, they're just do the heal for it. To negate the knockback. What the? Now, Why? one of my favorite things that can happen, especially <laughs> on No Hope, if you're trying to negate, uh, like healing and negating stuff, and you're near death, and uh, what can do is you can take more damage that you can heal, and you just get glitch death. Good fun. Love it. You don't get it too often in. I think I've only had it happen once in co-op. And it was really laggy. You get it more on the online, like PTP kind of stuff, because that was the era. I'm going through way days. too many Tic Tacs right now. Not your Tic Tacs. All right, you ready to get frozen? Yeah. Well, do you have some first aid just in case? Oh uh, yeah, I already used it. Yeah, and I. Froze. I still I think I still have two. Oh my God, so please. you'll see on I, my yeah. screen that I got frozen. Don't know why it happens, but I'll unfreeze after this cutscene. Yeah, yeah the, welcome it's, to it's similar to the... It's... Oh god, they're right here. Because you get to see Ada walking through, like I said, it's a host thing. It's similar to uh, what I was referring to with the um, elevator section. The last chapter. Make sure for the bit war you select Ada. <laughs> or and not. That's, that's... No. Only <laughs> Ada. We have to give her more support. She needs more love. I do also like Jake as a character, but I yeah. am suffering. I mean, I need A to walk. <laughs> you good over there? To see Chris going hand to hand with that guy. Yeah, I, I wasn't going to be able to reload fast enough. For him to... <laughs> oh boy. He probably could have just, uh, if he wanted to, technically do the double slide into him. If he want to try to reload. That does stun them. Can you get down there? Yeah, yeah. Okay. She's coming, yeah. And here. Uh. <laughs> Alright. Alpha team, this is HQ. We've confirmed that Wong was telling the truth. There's a fully armed aircraft carrier in open water not far from your location. 
Satellite imaging indicates they're getting ready to fire missiles on the mainland. It's imperative that you stop them from launching <laughs> even a single one. Copy that. I love force waiting. It's my favorite. Yeah, that's weird they didn't give that uh, oh. skip cutscene button. Ahead. Hurry. <laughs> Can I? You could have. Yeah, you technically could have done a uh, simple cancel if you memorize where it is. Yeah. Why is am I going to eat his route? <laughs> That's a fabulous question. Tell me more. I do that so much in this. Are y'all. Actually, yeah, you can get it up later. Yeah, I usually pick it up. Yeah, we get it last. Okay. Not that it matters, but you know. I, I, uh, it's just my braids always picks, just goes ahead and picks it up. Yeah, I forget to skip the cutscene. I was I was looking at chat and I'm like half no, asleep over this here. Is, this is <laughs> this a is, forced one. Yeah. Fine. It's a long one too. Uh-huh. We gotta watch the regenerators like a gajillion times. Alright. These guys, they're annoying. You just you're better off running by them. So this one you gotta this one is a bit quicker if you but it is a waiting out game mostly. Yeah, we usually do waiting kill him, although we did have one time where we got to this part and he just never showed up. <laughs> that can that can happen in co-op, yes. He can't split apart. Uh, the hand, the microwave next to Tally, you can actually throw the hand in the microwave. Oh my god, you can? Oh no, my god, oh, Not that, it's the next, it's the next one. I'm sorry, not that one, but the Oh, this one. one. Yeah. The, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. If he's close, hand has to be close. You can flush it down the toilet. You can do that. There's a few things you can do with the hand if it's close. To Amazing. Area. Fabulous. <laughs> Hello, Yo, Atlas. Atlas. Let's get out of here. Here's. Hello, hi. Atlas, my old friend. Uh, yeah, it's this way. Yeah, hi, buddy. Hey, yeah, you're very cute. Sorry, my cat's interrupting me. Cat's like, okay, you've done that, right? <laughs> oh, you're talking about your cat? I don't. My brain was thinking like, ah, uh, that video game developer. They sure are memes. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Literally just talking to my cat because he he'll come up to me and like stretch and meow at me and ask me for pets. So I gotta I gotta accommodate. Yeah, of course. Oh, you actually kill him. Uh, I usually just run by it and go to it. If you're quick enough, you can actually not have to kill him. I I, I don't trust um, anything. Well, yeah. Remember what I mentioned on Texas Paranoid? <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't trust anything about this game yeah. purely because I've been playing it for so long and all the bad things happen. So I'm just safe. Oh, I am a I safety noodle. Me in the corner, even if all the bad things have happened to me throughout this entire game, I'm like, let's risk it for the biscuit. Boop. Also, another thing, you see him sliding over the passcodes. Oh, I should have mentioned this. This is one of the things you can kind of animation or stumble cancel out of. More of an animation cancel. Most of the time, they'll just pick it up. You can basically cancel the pickup animation by sliding yeah. over and getting it. And a pickup animation is quite slow, so it's worth doing. Uh, Actually, it's not cute. that one. It is this And now is where I wish for Ada's part, because uh, when you're doing this with Ada, uh, you can just like click once, and you have all of them like right back in. Pierce needs to put them in all individually. Life is I mean, pain. I've had crashes in this, but I think my brain is just wired to be like my perfectionism. Be like, yo, if you don't do the fastest, this runs garbage. I'm like, I, homie, let's go, brain. <laughs> uh, we'll, uh, we'll tank uh, him. I, I please don't have a grenade launcher out for this. Oh my Christ. Oh no, d d look at this. We found something really cool for this, actually. You, you got this, right, Dex? I, yeah, I'd I, I be prepared. Okay. Please, <laughs> I have a feeling I know what you're going to do. Let's see, get it. I don't think I. Hey. Oh, I got it. Perfect. Okay. You got it. Yeah, so yeah, you can do that. One of my other favorite things is when you get somebody that's like, yo, I'm going to fire to the closest one to you and still yep. absolutely annihilate you. Yeah. Which I've had happen, so I just generally um, do AK. Um, the other person. It's definitely safer. It's definitely safer. It is easier to, at least to me, it's still easy to do it with the grenade launcher there, but the amount of times I've had people be like, yo. I'm just gonna blow us all up and get us killed. Because if you don't destroy all three things coming, yeah, it'll be like instant death. Yeah, because that's the thing. Like usually, the hand will be left alive if you don't hit them correctly, and that hand will just kill you. 
Yep. The carrier is armed with anti aircraft artillery. Take out those guys. Right, you're going for the shooting, right? Hey, shh, I'll give it a I'll give it a I'll give it a try. How's your aim? You have to wait till after this one Never sequence, though. Yeah. yeah. You know which one, yeah. Yeah, I gotta wait for the second cutscene to happen. La yeah, that section with a la like a super laggy co op partner will generally get you killed. It's real bad. Not this section, but the previous one. There you go. You've won. Pre launch preparations have already begun. I crash. I'm blaming you too. <laughs> Good. I'll accept the blame. You gotta be careful with that crank, though. No. Okay, I got yeah, one. This is pain because my yeah, my camera is just like all over the place with this. Oh my God, okay. it's I'm not gonna, I'm gonna hover above. I'm gonna yeah, turn. Please. Yeah, Chris can. I'll say Chris can long range it if he wants, but you gotta be God. used to doing it. All right, we just got some. Oh wait, yeah. no, I missed that. It's also a little bit more consist consistent because it's better off a lot of times. Two, three left at the front. Pierces. Wait, what? Okay, I got it. Love this part. A lot of times, if you're just to let Pierce do it, you're better off kind of hovering in the area because sometimes it'll hit the side of the ship. Yeah. It's a, at least to me, it's more consistent to do with Chris than have Pierce try to shoot the other ones from a distance. I need higher. Well, but it is. But higher, if you're not. Higher. Yeah, I, I yeah, but kept hitting used that. To it, it's, yeah. But yeah, if you're not used to it, that can be a problem. Let me know if I need to turn. Uh, you probably do, because I can't get the angle here. It's on you the other side. Just, you're better off going to the other side. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the Capcom really there. wanted this oh. game to have, like, a jillion yeah. things. I really... It's also one of the reasons I don't like Chris is too much for the sheer fact there's a lot of driving stuff. I also yep. don't like Jake with the bike section, but that's not as bad as, um... My main issue with this is just the limited camera control with Pierce because, like, it basically forces oh, you to look bad. at the center, like, the aircraft carrier oh, no. all the time, which is so annoying. Yeah, Chris was in the Air Force, yes. Uh, where's that? It's just really, it's really janky. This section's super janky. Yeah. It's generally, it's just better to, uh, do Chris. If you are comfortable and used to doing it as uh, just shooting it because a lot more times it is more consistent as well yeah because that's the other thing with Pierce. so he needs to get the lock on like if it doesn't lock on he can't shoot so if you don't and get the then, lock on you just don't this, do anything yeah it, it is uh one of those where it's not one hit ko but it, the also the fact the hit boxes for mm. missiles are really bad yeah Alright, you got me right. Yeah, I got you. Ah, oh, shit. I was gonna try and be fast. I don't want to look at the carrier, honestly. <laughs> We're skipping the credits for this game, just FYI. We're not watching the 10-minute credits. Oh, God, no. <laughs> also counts for IGT, fun fact. This about to get dirty. The entire thing is it will count towards your IGT if you really want to suffer. Yeah. Which is why for the actual leaderboard scenes. times you will skip everything. Oh god. Yeah, cutscenes also count for IGT. They they basically looked at RE5s like, okay, we see people exploiting things, how about now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's not do that. Alright chat, I hope you like feet. There we go. One right in the camera, right there. I always feel like I'm gonna get stepped on there. It's okay, yeah, I stunned. If, if, if the lag is real bad, I've had it happen. I can imagine. Now you get this word glitchy section. You are- I assume you're at least gonna have Chris, uh, destroy the final missile. <laughs> floating in the Wait, air. Wait, what? Chris- it's faster for Chris to destroy the final missile. He can? Yes. He can shoot, yes. Yeah. yeah. Do I just- <laughs> Just- Uh, you have- you want Pierce to knock Orgoman out, but just keep firing at the missile. Yeah, because otherwise I need to- oh, come on. Come on, get the lock it up! There you go, okay. Because otherwise, I usually get stuck in his arm and shit. 
Come on, come on. Come on, get in that. There you go. All right, here. Take out those missiles. There you go. Nice. Oh. Well, today <laughs> I learned. <laughs> Texas, like I have guns, is Chris? <laughs> well, I, I just, me? I, I just assume it's useless because we have rockets. No. So, <laughs> oh no. Well, the AKs are better than rockets in this game, generally. Mm -hmm. Generally, <laughs> yes. All right, we're in the, we're in the last chapter. We're in the, we're in the end game, end game I chat. Hate this chapter. This I is this actually chapter. my favorite chapter. <laughs> I hate running this chapter. It's so bad. I don't mind it. I this really don't. This is also don't. the one where sometimes I think one time I went to the bathroom. Uh, that one section. Sorry, I'm doing. You get back there? Okay. Yeah, I did equipment swap. Yeah, I usually do when we get to the part with the timer. So we're waiting anyway. One of my favorite things to do here, if you have the AI, so say take 10 years to crawl, you just get the grenade launcher, and you're like, yo, you have attack reaction on, let's just blow through the whole thing. <laughs> Thank you. Good job. It's just, it's just, it's because I get stuck in that cutscene while, uh, while Tally I know. is already there. You're honestly... Now, so you're honestly better off waiting until uh, Chris gets out of there before activating the cutscene. Oh, for Christ's sake! I kind of forgot him. Yeah. Tally, is usually like, I'm excited. Yeah, usually Tex is like right on me there, so I'm not used to like processing. Oh, maybe I don't need to do this immediately. I'm like half yeah. asleep, so I'm running <laughs> at like half half speed run power. Fair enough. <laughs> Basically, also the point of this section is. Pierce is like, there's fans okay. on the bottom. Pierce hits those two switches, gets hit by a rocket, and waits for Chris to come <laughs> up with the elevator. Like a boss. There we go. Restored power to the elevator. As I have learned that if there's an enemy within this door when it closes, it will basically just headshot them. It's very funny. Yeah. They're not meant to be in here. Yeah. Of course, if you're doing solo and you're Chris, you gotta make sure you bring the elevator up because Pierce will just not care. My favorite thing. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, didn't actually mean to do that, but it's not the end of the world. Yeah, definitely could be worse. Hello, rockets. Bye, rockets. <laughs> oh. I was about to say, you don't hit the switchy. Yeah, I almost did. I mean, screw up. Are you good? Yeah. Nah. I thought you were about to put push text in. <laughs> I thought I was nah. about to accidentally get pushed out. <laughs> Alright. Y'all love time sections, right? Where we're basically just waiting at a timer. Well, look, it's a timer. Please wait until the connection is complete. I'll be ready for seven minutes of fun. I think it's about seven, eight minutes. That was four. It might be misremembering. I don't always remember the exact time for this. I, I want to be real with you. It blurs together. I mean, seven minutes is a nice uh, RE5 reference, though, which was on right before us. That is awesome. So we can just say that it was all part of the plan for that. Yeah, it might be about five minutes. I would have to honestly look. So I know you got like two minutes. Here. Yeah, and then you get a new one. No spoilers. For... Then it, then it's like mm, you got a little longer. I'm sorry. I'm like, okay, thank you. This is actually a really annoying section on uh, No Hope. If you're not. Oh yeah. Hope. Yeah, now we're just being idiots just because minutes. it's nothing. Ah, uh, yes, uh, tell I'm me gonna more, get Carla. Set up with, uh, I'm gonna use a shotgun probably for the rest of the run. Something tells me this Yay, timers. Pierce, can you get through to HQ? The chat, how are you liking RE6 so far? Oh, well, we just sit here and vibe anyway. Alright, let's get Jake and Sherry the hell out of here. Come on. Roger. 
Not you, Ken Cheryl. <laughs> we clearly won't meet them again ever. Right? Love our trade. Major plot points, because I don't care about spoiling this 10 year old game. Uh, Jake is Wesker's fanfiction child. Yep. Truly. Capcom really is like, yo, what's the depths of fanfiction that we can find? And they're like, okay, every game is going to be fanfiction. I'm just saying they made it canon that Wesker gets down to business time. To defeat the hunts. Yeah. <laughs> sure does. <laughs> did you forget about the second timer? I I did. <laughs> I did forget about the second timer. You, yeah, I correct, Tally. Absolutely. <laughs> Okay, it is four I, wow. I did that on purpose. This, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay. Oh, it is four minutes. Oh, this is how much I pay attention to this section. That tells you anything. Yep. I have no idea what you're talking about, Tally. It was already up here. <laughs> I, should, I should do, like, Jake's character. They're probably... The thing is with Capcom, they're really bad. I'm like, here's a character, and then they're like, wow, that'd be great if we never use them ever again. Right? I wish Pierce would cool. come back, but obviously they killed him off, so that's not really something they could do. But I remember thinking, because I played Pierce first time well, I played this casually, and I was just like, yes, I love him, he's so great, I can't wait for him to come back. And like, then the ending well, happened, and is, I was in tears. <laughs> the thing is, as well, they can't technically do it, they do like a Revelations kind of thing, or mm -hmm. like from another thing. Sure. He is in the manga that takes place before this. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. He's also one of the few actual left-handed characters in the series, as him and Sheva are like the only ones. He is technically on the left screen, like every like co-op partner is on the left side screen and start off left-handed, but the cutscenes are actually right-handed. So that's mm -hmm. actually now I can so. tell. Now you can come down. Um, get your dinner, honey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like Pierce. Pierce is a nice character. I like him. Yeah. I, I do I like genuinely Pierce. like his character. I like Pierce, and I actually really like Jake. I actually didn't care for Jake too much, and then afterwards he kind of grew on me. I'm like, yeah. yeah, you know what, you're not that bad. And I'm, I'm so cool that Cherry could uh, come back in this year. <laughs> Tears for Pierce, oh my god, please. Dude, that makes me think of Tears for Pierce. <laughs> <laughs> now, the interesting thing about this, there is a quicker way to do this, which is both uh, Chris and um, Pierce like turn around and go to the other side. However, each of the levers is designated to a character, and you can have like Jake and Pierce together, Chris and Sherry together, or Chris and Sherry, etc., depending on which levers you choose here. Yeah. Of course, the fastest is to do what they did, is just turn around. If you're Jake and Sherry, you go keep going forward. Yeah. But it's a nice little thing if you kind of want to hear some more dialogue. Chris, uh, not Chris, um, Chris and Jake's dialogue is pretty interesting, but my favorite is whenever Pit, uh, Pierce and Jake just yell at each other for five minutes because they hate each other. <laughs> The writing, the, each other. the writing for the conflict between Chris and Jake literally makes no sense at all. Especially, uh, I do, yeah, because again, no one, if you haven't played this game, you don't know. Basically, Jake is really hates the fact that his father's evil, but I think it's one of those where he wanted to meet his father because his mother, because it's, it, the thing is, his mother has always told him, like, his father loves him and uh, cares for him, which is also in the files that aren't. You have to go to a side part of the game to actually read, by the way, which makes it to where you don't see this info. Yeah, I didn't know. And there's files in RE Net that also explain some other things that you have to get. So cool, cool, we love that. But yeah, I think this it's one of those where he's just probably upset the fact that um you can see his dad, which makes sense, but uh not done well. Yeah. Which is uh, not surprising with Capcom. Let's be honest. If you as I stare at Rev Two, Barry, and the Warriors conflict. Yeah. Also, this is the other wake section where you can go to the bathroom if you desire. <laughs> yeah, Basically, uh, yeah. Normally, normally Tally is protecting my rear here. <laughs> I want to be. I usually with Jake. Uh, uh, like what I've been doing is like I'll go to die like two or three times. Have, which by the way, the, when you start the elevator sequence, uh, the AI, at least Sherry's AI, will just stare and like stare and stand there as you're going to die, and they're like, <laughs> like thanks. Thanks. And then afterwards, like, oh, why did I just save you? Yeah. Well, that's uh, that's one of the wait, fun memes on. about Ado's co-op campaign, too, because I remember playing that casually, and I was playing as Agent, and then you're in a section with Leon and Helena, and I got down when I was paired up with Leon, and Leon was just like, he gave no shit. He just kept on going without me, and I was just on the ground yeah. like, please! <laughs> yeah, the game is not designed for Agent in mind. Yeah. Again, it's... he's 
he, he was, was an added afterthought. later. Yeah. He was no, he was straight up added later. Yeah. Alright, we almost up? Uh yeah, almost. Yeah, you are. One of my favorites who pay attention, sometimes the rocket launchers, like because you're surrounded, they're firing at you. More threatening on no hope, of course. Mm. But sometimes the rock launcher will sit there and they if you can't they can't fire at you or they just randomly give up. They're like, you know what? I'm just gonna walk off the cliff. Hey, Say hello to chaos. Yeah. I mean it's All actually right. I mean, chaos. Chaos. <laughs> <laughs> chaos. Uh, house? It's house. <laughs> it does look like chaos from it is house, but uh it I always call him chaos because he literally looks like chaos from he, Sonic. He Adventure. looks like I right? He looks like exactly chaos from like Sonic. <laughs> We like to say I, I chaos. I, I love it's chaos. Removed the every time, every time I, I remember when I first played this, I looked at him and I'm like, I'm glad Sonic's here. And all. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, I'm playing a Sonic game and I didn't even notice. I didn't even realize. Uh, it was a nice throwback to when we had Sonic's voice actor, right, on the, as a topic earlier. Yeah, Chris. Chris is. Uh, now we have voice chaos. Actor, current voice actor. Um, also, the whole gimmick of this is probably obvious. Uh, keep on running. In the PC version and PS3 and 4, he is really fast. On the th uh, Xbox One and PS4 versions and slash Switch, uh, he they actually slowed him down immensely. So he's going to be riding your butt the entire time here. Beautiful. Very great. Sure is. He's very angry. He's angry. He just throw a Snickers at him. I mean, he was just kind of bored, so... Chaos, you're not you when you're hungry. Yeah. <laughs> you want a Chaos Emerald? You want it, buddy? You want to go fetch? Ah, uh, you are huffing it, Tally. Jeez. Got a full fast. Also gotta remember to pull your co-op partner up here, because that's an easy mistake, that if you just get, like... Launch up and then oh, you keep I running and <laughs> you're just it's like, okay. So <laughs> yeah, it's it's the third one where they don't need to. Uh, I was gonna say you can move tally or you will actually die. Yeah. There. there you go. I think this is when I don't pull you off. Yeah, on. this is when you don't yeah. need to. Yeah. Save me. Yeah. But I just hang okay. out. Wait, 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 like I have to hang out. This is forced. And I just shoot him down. You can move on now. One of my favorite things if you do the shooting wild section for this next boss, and if you decide to rapid fire weapon switch, it actually will kill faster. Oh. It's really dumb. Like with the side switching, it's super dumb with the grenade launcher. You have to kind of go up towards him and do it. Because I wasn't like, really I sure what his weak point is, but I'm assuming it's like the fleshy bits. So yeah, like, it's the yeah. fleshy bit that's bleeding out. That, that part yeah, right there. Yeah, that's his weak point, yeah. Basically, okay. when he gets up, you have a chance to kind of shoot at it. You, if you rapid web switch the grenade launcher and shoot while you can kill him, like two or three shots. I was gonna say, didn't it? Though? Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It dunked on. We dancing. Camera angles are so bad here. Yeah. Yep, yeah, they really are. Oh, they are quite memes. This is around the time where, like, a lot of, especially in this era of gaming QTEs and camera so angles for running towards the, like like running away from things was super big and I'm very Captain glad Brown's that on. it's not as prevalent. <laughs> Texans like no you're not doing this any faster. <laughs> yeah. like, no it's not the night. I I I'm as a as as has been said many times. I'm very paranoid, and <laughs> I've had a lot of times where I've like lost all my stamina while doing this. So I have to like make sure I don't do that. Why don't you just go on your back and roll like she was doing? Uh, because I don't. I'm not fast enough for be that, and I die. Here. You should be good though. Yeah. There you go. I'm spamming. Pierce now also has boulders for shoulders, keeping his door up. Yeah, this is the part where you can self lock. Both people, uh, call partners cross at the exact same time, it will soft lock here. <laughs> like the game camera, sure. That's a good thing I'm always that behind. Happened. <laughs> this game probably was the nail in the coffin, but QTEs were slowly dying out anyway, because a lot of people were complaining before this game yeah. about them. People were just getting tired of them. Like taking this slide just to be sure. Oh god, you are so close. 
Because I remember, like, Sonic and Leash and a lot of other games were coming out. I was like, we're tired of this. Can you stop, please? My favorite is when RE4 Remake said there's no QTEs, but there are technically still some. Alright, say goodbye to Pierce. I just lost my arm. Uh, so, of course, the only logical Which solution to losing my arm is to make myself infected so I can grow it back. Well, he is useless and Chris is dying here. Which, by the way, if you take too long to do this, Chris will die. Yeah. Now, the cutscene for him, because basically what happens, like, a piece of the door gets, like, <laughs> cuts his arm off, basically. And he just rips it off. He still technically has it right now, because, mm. uh... It's just they shredded. Didn't... Yeah, they, they probably didn't want to try to bottle that. <laughs> They're like, nah, we don't care. All right. Now you have this beautiful thing. All right. All right, so, remember to hit the button. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tally. Ew. Last time we were doing this, right, we were both just standing here, and I'm like, Tex, aren't you forgetting something? <laughs> yeah, this form Pierce, uh, his, um, he has no access to his weapon, no herbs, he does... I got nothing, health. basically. Every time he, yeah, but every time he shoots, he loses health, but he does reach in, and he can't run, he just... His walking animation, uh, Tifos. Uh, is a bit faster though. Callie, it's fine. You don't need anything. You've got the power of God and anime on your side. <laughs> really do. But I mean, look at this. Look at what she's got going on here. There you go. Damn. You. Damn. One of my favorite. I think I usually I. I think it depends because you can also just grenade launcher the. Uh, cocoon open as well but if you're co-op you're better off just having peers mainly focus on that and chris stick with the ak it is much yeah. easier basically the gimmick of this boss is destroy the bulbs on his backside like a little fleshy part where he got kind of cut in half yeah we've also Do found that. it to be more consistent where like where so like we do what we did before and and while he's up here wait for him to come out of his cocoon shoot one of his little bulbs wait for him to come down and then go for it. Are you there. good? Okay, there you go. I usually, I think I usually do two. But yeah, you, if he, if you destroy a bulbs when he's up there, you cannot uh, destroy the cocoon. Well, you can't technically, with a grenade launch, destroy the cocoon, but you can't stab him, which is part of the whole game. You have to do it three times. Yeah. yeah. And sometimes he'll just sit there where he just jumps back and forth between the crate, like the little containers. Fun times. I recommend it for the whole family. <laughs> Because I'm actually, because I've at least been redoing some of my solo runs for this Nexus Crisis that I haven't done in years in terms of the campaign, so this is going to be a fun time. I've done maybe a few ILs, so uh, I'm ready for suffering. Well, speaking of the desync, this part of him is just on the ground still for me. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, that can happen. That can happen. But it's all done, BK. You hey, us. This this is Bro, what the fudge? Okay. It's the acid. He'll split it on the roof. Yeah, I'm normally not. Excuse. I oh, normally don't go, miss him. my shots on his bulbs, though. That's the thing. Side. Nice. Okay. This is the last hit. Yep. Is he has three cards for some like reason? Oh, that's really no. I got too eager. You can technically also show the AK if you want it, but it does take a little longer. There you go. Now, the thing is, with the cocoon, he does uh, more informing people. He will uh, eventually hatch out and get to redo it. He won't stay in there forever. You do have to kind of pick up pace with the cups to get him out of there. Now we're going to crawl over to Tally, do another QTE real quick to kill him. Yeah, now I'm keeping him in check with even more QTEs. There we go. Going from chaos to bios. <laughs> took his last heart out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> after the heart, you <laughs> Yep, yep. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I swap over. Uh, well, after this cutscene, real quick. Um, I need to swap over to AK. Stick with AK. Shotgun. I I, I go I go shotgun because it's uh it's faster to it's two shots of the shotgun to get rid of the uh the mucusy stuff. 
Also, nice for like the RE5 with... here. I saw uh, rifle. Because in the RE5 run earlier, you, they explained oh, yeah, the you co-op don't... doors. Uh, and yeah, the same thing works here. Like, if a second person opens the door after it's been spun, it saves like a second. What was I about to say? Uh, AK is slightly faster if you do shooting wild, by the way. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't do shooting wild. Yeah, yeah. If you don't do shooting wild, the shotgun is faster. Pierce can also destroy these. It is just better. Make sure don't run too far ahead. By the way, it, it, this is a uh, rubber band. Okay. Yeah. And I if can't. You, if you go too far ahead, he will die. Yeah. Okay. There you go. All right. And there you go. That's the end of the game. Uh, and you can hit time, time. <laughs> if we're since we're doing it RTA stuff. But yeah, yeah but that's yeah. time. Came out of nowhere. All right. <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of came up fast, yeah. All good. And Pierce is dead. The end. Yep, the end. There you go. The king. Yeah, no world record today, but we got pretty close. Less than two minutes out. Uh, at least you're going to my splits, so. Yeah, yeah. No, but about a uh, minute 40. Still pretty good. Yeah, a minute 49 behind PB, but which yeah. means we were under estimate. This is a good game. It is actually a very Times. fun game. I, I do recommend playing it, uh, but do, you, you know, consider having a call partner if you do. Mm -hmm. uh, but it is a lot of fun. Yeah, if you, yeah, you want to do solo like I normally do, that's also, it's interesting. It's definitely a lot different, though. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, if you do want to speedrun this, there's a lot of resources on the speedrun.com page, and Solus has been an absolute champion for helping us out, so you know, I'm sure mm -hmm. they'd be happy to help anyone else out as well. And of course, there's a lot of helpful people in the community, so come check us out. And I'm slowly working on doing some tutorials for the game, slowly but surely. I'm hoping to get some out before the SGDQ, but it's going to take me a minute because um, this game is long. It Very is, long especially yeah, when you consider the fact that there's four campaigns for this. Uh, yeah. But yeah, uh, we're going to do this at SGDQ as well, so do, you do not want to miss that. We will not be doing Chris's campaign, but as we mentioned, there will be a bit war between Jake's campaign and Ada's campaign. And we also have a bit of a special treat. Uh, if you do tune in for the SGDQ run, we will also have the Resident Evil community manager uh, on commentary with us. So you really do not want to miss that. Oh, dude. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how it happened, but yeah, <laughs> of all, like, first of all, GDQ accepting RE6, which amazing. Yeah. But then Thank the you. fact that we were able to get the the RE community manager even crazier. Yeah. But yeah, if you want to see more of me, uh, you can follow me over at Tainted Tali on Twitch. Just the same name as you should be seeing on screen somewhere. I usually do. We've been doing a lot of this. Uh, Saturdays have been like mine and Texas like co-op day, so we're doing this mm -hmm. now. Uh, we're going to be doing Jake and Ada a lot up until SGDQ, and afterwards we're going to be doing all campaigns, uh, and then we'll move over to Dead Rising together. So if that's what you want to see, come follow us. Yeah, uh, uh, um, and then over on my end, same thing. A uh, lot of Resident Evil going on, uh, as well as like a variety of other stuff like South Park um, and those things. So I'm, I'm normally there as well. Yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and thank you for having us. Yeah, thanks for having us. And th and thanks, Solas, for being commentary yes. for us. Much appreciated. Your insights are always hella useful when it comes to this game. For sure. Not a problem. Thank you for having me. It was a lot of fun. Well, yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you all for coming on, showing off. And uh, glad I was able to hold this together. I've, I've wanted to, you know, showcase some... This... Uh, I think this is actually the first co-op run, run I've ever had on this show. Oh. So, huh. well, RE5 was first, obviously, but, you know. Of the, course. the first time I've ever showcased co-op runs, which is pretty cool. Um, and, it, hey, I think it went great. Um, so, once again, thank you to uh, Tully and Red Wolf for coming on, and thank you to Yato and Smack from earlier for doing that. And... Not much else for tonight. A couple announcements to close it out. Uh, SGDQ, like I've said earlier, is May 28th to June 4th uh, in Minneapolis, Minnesota. If you're interested in going, there's still spots open. Uh, you can catch Holly and Red Wolf doing their run at 3.48 a.m. Uh, Eastern Time. If you want to see the Ada versus Jake bid war, see the finale of that. And, with Dev commentary. Uh, with with Dev commentary from the Resident <laughs> Evil Community Manager. <laughs> And if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, make sure to subscribe so you can see all the content we're coming out with. And uh, 
you are watching this on Twitch coming in right now and you missed any of the runs from earlier, you'll be able to check them out on YouTube in just a couple of days. Well, that's all for tonight. Uh, tune in tomorrow for Mercy Kill and Passion Projects at 7 p.m. Eastern. See you all later.